everybody. Hello. Thank you, Gantu Gangwen, for subbing on the starting screen. Thank you for four months. Um. Oh, I forgot to set up music. Hi, Sids Grids. What's up? I remember you from the awesome puzzle you made us. Yes, you heard right that Evan will be on the stream later and like after we finish the puzzle. However long it takes us. We have a big interview with Evan planned. I had to put on some music though. Oh, should I put on Plantasia? Because I'm wearing my Plantasia sweater? That would be pretty cool. Babe, say hi. Say hi, I don't know if they can hear you. Oh, Jason is muted. He's eating some banana bread. No banana. <laughs> I had no idea you streamed, but I love it. Oh, thank you, David. Yeah, I stream pretty often. Hi, Lav Enders. Okay, I'm going to put on some music. Put on Evan's solo lo-fi EP. Wait, does he have that? Mm -mm. No way. I wish he did. The frog has the crown I made? Yeah, thanks for making that cool crown, Molten. I put it on Evan today. Evan Frog. Oh, my chat window is like way fricked up there. That's a little better. Your microphone is making a static noise, please. Really? Is my mic sounding weird, you guys? Unplug it and replug it. It's it's cordless. They say no. They say it's not. It Sounds fine. fine. I sound funny? Well, someone just said I sound funny. Thank you, Carrot Onion Soup. Yeah, this is my Plantasia. Plantasia sweater. It has, like, the album art. It's one of my prized possessions. So, people are saying... They hear it static if they hold the speaker. I'll just restart my headset. Like, one sec. Okay, I restarted it. Did that fix it? Or no? I'm not hearing it anymore. That fixed it? Well, I'm going to put on music, so maybe that will help too. Let's see. I'll put on Plantasia. I don't think that Mort Garson will uh, copy strike me. What do you guys think? There we go. I think it's fixed. I hope so. Yeah, I'm interviewing Evan. I need my audio to be perfect for my big interview. <laughs> we'll interview him after we beat the crossword, you guys. The theme this week is Santa's Little Helper. I'm so excited. The first letters of the start answers spell out a fitting seasonal word. <laughs> a Christmas puzzle. Why not get Jason a chair so he can be on your streams? Well, our desks are not that big, and Jason is like... <laughs> He's sitting at his desk! <laughs> so we are together, he's just at his desk. But yeah, they're not like that wide. There wouldn't really be room, like there's this couch here, and like right there on my other side is a wall, so... It's kind of small space to fit two of us. I can sit at his desk though. Sometimes we do that on his stream. Christmas puzzle. Alright, babe. Do you know a lot about Christmas? We're gonna put it to the test. I'll wait for Jason to come back up to start. <laughs> Jake Paul appreciation vlog, yep. Of course. I solved this puzzle and it's super cute. Always trust Evan to make the best seasonal puzzles. Wait, 
Sid, do you have any like suggestions of questions that we should ask Evan later? Because I do have a great list. I have like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. I have 12 questions prepared for Evan, but I wanted to leave a little room for like, if we think of any on the fly or anything. And I don't want to like take all day asking questions, so. Please ask Evan if he's single. Well, I don't think we should pry into Evan's personal life. Oh, hi, Jillian. How are you? <laughs> oh, I already figured Aww. it out. Thank you, Hennen, for the two months of and for using Jason's emotes. Number one is Funny Tuesday. Oh, Jason's already getting started. Wait, I was trying to see if Sid was going to tell me any questions for Evan. I hate when, like, all this stuff is on here. Like, it gets stuck on there. Disappointing. I have a tea latte. This is called London Fog. I just want to say that you and Dunky give me a lot of happiness. Thank you, Cyclob Cyborg. I'm glad. Ah. Oh, Sid does have a question. Ask Evan how he feels about being the crossword cereal guy. What does that mean? I'm going to write it down, but I have no idea what that means. How do you feel about being the crossword cereal guy? Ow! I'm so clumsy. I already cut myself this morning. Look. I cut myself. I cut myself the other day, too. Where is it? I cut myself here and here, and now I just, like, hurt my elbow on my chair. This is some kind of crossword meta joke? Wait, what is? Oh, the, the crossword cereal thing? Maybe. <laughs> You're falling apart, Leah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, babe, we're starting the puzzle. Ready? Mm -hmm. I wasn't flipping you off. I wasn't. Okay, the first letter of star answers will spell out a spitting seasonal word. I love that. Santa's little helper. <laughs> Okay, stereotypical outdoor spaces for frolicking. Meadow, maybe? Like, you frolic in a meadow. Or like, I don't know. I can confirm Evan is the crossword cereal guy? Wait, you're in on the joke? What do you mean? Grease. Grease? What's grease, babe? Eleven. Eleven? You're solving one? Ancient region that encompasses Athens. Oh, good job, him. No, that's not right. It's not right? Oh, that is right. It, I typed it and it fit. One is meadow or fields. I'm like, I don't feel great about meadow because it says spaces, so I think it should be plural. I feel like fields would fit because it's plural, but... Nine down is Ive. Nine down. The killer. All these things that I've done. Wow. Jason's on a roll. Mr. Song Justin Timberlake sings in the rock movie. Really? Justin Timberlake sings that? Yeah. <laughs> Let's it's see. Sound tales. Wait, fields. One D is fat. Wait, one down. Oh yeah, Fat Tuesday. That's the same thing as Mardi Gras. That's what Mardi Gras means in French. Did you know that? Mardi is the word for Tuesday, and gras is the word for fat. Do you know that, babe? Um, Tuesday fat. Yep, fat Tuesday is the same as Mardi Gras. Isn't that how Spanish works, too? They put the adjective after the noun? Probably, yeah. I don't know much Spanish, though. Okay, misstep is on a wet floor. Slip! Slip on the floor. This is so easy for us. But Evan said, oh wait, it's next week. 
I remember Evan said, like, on the 27th, there will be a meta puzzle. I think it will be hard. Ventilate. Um, I feel like this is air out. Do you guys like that answer? Yeah. Air out. Hi, Tian Kai. Happy Crossword Sunday. Of X. What? What then? Thirty percent of X. Oh, that's like is X is mean? like X is ten, right? So it'd be like three point three. It'd be I I I, right? Evan likes to do that. Wait, two um, down? Oh yeah, I I I. It's from a numeral. Whoa, what's that? You're saying Tierra de Fuego. For that? Thank you, out there for the bits. Don't say 27 across is a train. I know it's not going to be train. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. That might be true. Tierra? I've never... Coal transporter. Coal, Coal transporter. transporter. Train. It's train. No, it's not. That's a good answer. Stop. Where does it say that? 27 across. That's train. It's only four. Why That's did you trick answer. me? Why is it a cool transporter? Evan! Are you here, Evan? Are you trolling? It's spelled wrong. <laughs> it's only four letters. Don't say it's train. <laughs> what the heck? It's chew. What the heck? Cool transporter. No, it's probably like something funny. Strain. It's probably like a funny answer that you wouldn't expect. It's not true. Oh, thank you for bit, Sid. So you see this here is the serial context. Oh, okay. I'll check this out. Let's go see. Serial context. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what? Oreo O's breakfast diary day one. And just two spoonfuls, my mind becomes a battlefield between chocolate flavored dread and wonder. Evan, what's going on here? Oreo O's breakfast diary day two? Why is he taking selfies with a cereal? I will have to ask him about this. Was he a cereal blogger? He's taking it a third day. Is this a room? Oh my god, he has a The Room shirt, you guys. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. <laughs> I see he's a fan of The Room. Hi, Busy Beth. Babe, are you seeing this? <laughs> he has a The Room shirt. Evan is so epic. Look at this shirt. Meh. <laughs> what is going on? Why did he put these? Okay, I'll ask. We need to solve the puzzle so we can talk to Evan. Okay, squalid shelter hovel. Hovel, guys. Hovel. 8D is Lou. I'll check that out. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. These letters welfare. I put in because someone said that, but like... 23 is welfare. 23 is welfare? Receiving financial aid from the state. Oh, true. Welfare? Minor opposite. Major? Major doesn't fit, though. Maybe it's like major? Fancy major? No, that doesn't fit. Oh, Citra Sam, thank you for subbing for two months with Prime. And thank you for drawing the crossword frog. Guys, Citra Sam is the one who drew this uh, Evan as a frog image. <laughs> it is Tierra del Fuego, but it's one of the starred words, so Evan did something weird with it. Oh, Evan did something weird. Thank you, Foxotic, for subbing with Prime. Thank you. Okay, so, like, we don't really want to type it in yet. What is this? How does this look? One leaping. Oh, lords! 
Lords of Leaping in the Christmas Carol. Babe, do you know about that Christmas Carol? No. It's like three lords are leaping. I don't know how many lords are leaping, but I forget how many. Hi, young Kazzy. What's the gimmick for this crossword? It's just a Santa's little helper theme, and the first letter of starred answers will spell out a fitting seasonal word. So. It's a crimbish puzzle. Thank you, carrot onion soup, for subbing. Thank you. Oh, hype train. Thanks for the train, you guys. Thank you, Violet is a kawaii for three months. <laughs> Me and Jason watched the Great British Bake Off show recently where they did like a Japan week. And one of the themes was kawaii and like, they couldn't say kawaii and they kept going like, that's kawaii. That's so kawaii, guys. <laughs> oh my god, everyone is subbing. Thank you, Garsh and Marika Breath for subbing. You guys are so kawaii. <laughs> That's kawaii. That's kawaii. He like made this like cake of his dog and he was like, this is Hamish. Hamish is a cheeky dog. And they were like, oh yes, Hamish is so kawaii. <laughs> uh, oh, you watched it? Her main, her main's jelly cake was awesome. Duracell. Oh, she was Duracell. my favorite. I love her main. Five down is Duracell. Copper top battery. Good one, babe. We just had to buy someone else. Is six statue. I'll see. Figure standing outside the ballpark. Oh. I feel like it could be a trick because it's ballpark and there's like, oh, there's like a feather flying around me. I feel like it could be a trick. What's like a thing that's in a ballpark? Like a... It could just be statue also. Hi, prickly cactus. I think it's statue. It would allow 40, 24 across to be data. Oh. Maybe it's Stanta. Hmm. It's Santa. <laughs> Wait, Stan Stanta. Stanta. <laughs> Christmas. Oh, where can I play this? I will paste it to you, character limit. Here you go. This is the puzzle we do every week. It's made by Evan Bernholtz. The Crossword King, and we will be interviewing him soon. Ah, thank you, Arco Barco, for subbing. Thank you, Hype Train. Thank you, so Kawaza. It could be chicken? Wait, which one's chicken? Which one's chicken? Which one is chicken? <laughs> Viv. Jason loves that Santa emote. I asked him what emotes he wants on his Twitch and he said he just wants one like the Santa. <laughs> 31 across would be cliff. 31 across is cusp. Hold up. There's a discrepancy. I'll resolve it. Edge? Okay. It can't be cliff because it doesn't fit. So it could be cusp. Good answer, and that makes a statue. Good answer. Thank you, manga book guy. We will have fun with our crossword. Jason isn't a mod. Well, he's a VIP. See, he has like a golden or like a pink diamond. He's a VIP, and if I make him a mod, it will take away his diamond. So. Let's see, can we get this? 200 meter race. Babe, what do you think a 200 meter race is? Uh -huh. We have two of the letters. A and S. Dash, oh, dash, it is a dash. Okay, good answer, good answer. Dash. Use it called Garfunkel. Oh, 
Oh, musical Garfunkel! Oh my god, wait, what's his first name? I always forget. Lil. No, it's not Lil Garfunkel. Lil Garfunkel. It's like, ah, uh, art! Yes, art! It's art. I love Garfunkel. Um, also to Herve, I saw you ask earlier if I'm going to finish the Picross game. Um, I played it some off stream and I don't think I'll finish it on stream because it turns out it's like 35 hours long. <laughs> and probably like twice as long if you're doing it on stream, so. But I might do another stream of it at some point, but I didn't want like all my streams to be like Picross game streams for 35 hours, so. No, not 35 hours stream. <laughs> 93 down is beans? Good answer, Steve. I like that answer. By the way, I do have the Kappa Steve. I think I have it like this. Let's try. There. Oh, 28 is Eli. You can only see it if you have better Twitch. Wait. I forgot, forgot what's beans. 93 down. And then I'll see which one you said. A lozenge for a cough. Well, unfortunately, I don't think it's beans. <laughs> I was tricked again. <laughs> then what, what did you say was Eli? 28 of Crash. The Book of... Oh, Denzel Washington film. Thanks, babe. Good answer, Steve. I just saw, like, a Santa question. Let's try to solve the Santa one. Santa blank. Christmas accessory. Hat, right? Santa hat. I wish I had a Santa hat. Hmm. One's a milking in the Christmas Carol. Maids! Eight maids a milking. 35 down is stir. Let's see. Mix as in a soup bowl. Oh, he mi he missed a good opportunity. He could have like done like another Christmas reference with stir. Like not what's that thing? It says like nothing was stirring, not even a mouse. Yeah. He could have done that. How do you wish him? Thank you, yeah. Super Chris. Yes, my Plantasia sweater. I'm listening to Plantasia right now too. Can you guys hear it? I think you can. Nothing was stirring, not even a no. <laughs> I like that better lyrics. Yay, level two hype chain. I got an emote. I got this emote. Thanks, guys. <laughs> 35 down isn't stir. Sorry, it conflicts with 35 across. Oh, okay. We're taking it back. We're taking it back. 40 is 10. 40 is 10? Right. Deca pod. Deca yeah. Gun on babe. Yep. Deca. Thanks, Sledge Bob. 38 down is tea. Oh, I'm drinking tea. Is it tea? Oolong. Yep. That's tea. Where did your gnome obsession begin? <laughs> Probably when I was like two years old, honestly. We've always loved gnomes in my family. We had like little, little gnomes like around the house. Like we would hide them in corners. And like I always had that gnome book. My mom had that gnome book since like the 70s or something. So yeah. Maybe not the 70s. I don't know when she got it. But she gave me the gnome book when I was really young. So yeah. I, I just always loved gnomes. Approximately how many gnomes were in my child at home? I would say approximately. Let's say approximately. Four, five, maybe? Four, five, maybe? Let's say Wasn't a ton, but like. We liked them a lot. 54 is sign. Okay, wait. Well, someone. Oh, 54 is sign. Okay, two people are saying that, so. Let's see if they're right. The S of ASL. Oh yeah, American Sign Language. Yep. I want to solve like these big ones. Tierra D. Oh my God, guys! I see what Evan did. Okay, someone said this was Tierra de Fuego. 
He just wrote a D because it's pronounced D. Right? So that must be the letter for the solve. Yeah, there's an echo. It's probably Jason's mic, guys. 44 is Lana. Oh, yeah, Lana Del Rey. I like her. Oops, I wrote lava. Do you guys agree that this is like a good answer for this one? The archipelago divided, whatever. I feel like he just spelled it wrong on purpose. But usually he wouldn't do that. He wouldn't just spell it wrong. Maybe there's, well, no. It doesn't fit with this either. Bookcase selection. What? Yeah, it doesn't fit. But Lou fits. This fits. Peg coat rack piece. Yeah, Peg. I love this song. This is like one of my favorites in the album. What is bookcase selection? Does anyone have any idea? But they're saying that you should make a bunch of funny noises to fix your microphone. More and more. <laughs> it's like a huge delay on your mic. <laughs> it's working, it's working, keep going. It's working, yeah, keep going. <laughs> ah, thank you, Sid, for the fence. Here's a crossword insider tip. Wait. I don't know if I want cheats. Oh, the read this button. You could enter multiple letters in one square. Right, we did like... Wait, what's he saying? You'll wanna swap the F with elf to make shelf and tier. Wait. Elf? Wait, you have to use the rebus button to solve this? Or that's just like to have... Wait. Elf. That's Christmas. Santa's little helper is an elf. Wait. I don't get it still, though. So, where does elf go? I have to put it all in this box? No. Evan! Evan is forcing us to type three letters in one box? Oh, fuck. That's not allowed. <laughs> That's not allowed. You can't put three letters in one box. Elf is gonna go in this box. Rebus. It's not working. It's honestly not working. Like it won't let me rebus this box. Elf. See, it's not working. <laughs> you need to press. That? That did do anything. I think it worked. It worked last time. How are we gonna put three letters in one box? Evan was halfway through his bowl of Oreo O's and said, "Eh, fuck it. Elf in one box." <laughs> oh my god! I can't figure out how to do the rebus, even though I did it last time, like with no problem. Maybe if I refresh? Hold on. Let me open a different puzzle and try to rebus it. I don't know why it's not working. Rebus. Rebus. Maybe I can't do it on one I've already solved. I've solved all of them though. How about daily crossword? Don't refresh, will it get rid of my thing? Toggle Rebus, press split. I did that. Let's try it on this one. This one doesn't have Rebus. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jeebus. My Rebus won't work. Rebus, push that. <laughs> 
69 down as Rex. Okay, thank you, Paula. I'll put that in. I don't know why the rapists aren't working. <sighs> we'll just have to pretend it's says elf. I can type it on my, um... Well, but we won't be able to win if we don't. Maybe I just have, like, a bunch of letters in here already. Let me hit backspace a lot. Maybe there are just, like, too many in there that they're not showing. Dang it! Could just do a reveal letter? I guess I could do reveal letter because we know it's elf, so... Reveal that letter. It won't even reveal a letter. What do I do? Hi, gosh, heck, Santa. You're late, and the theme is Santa's little helper. I might need to get Evan on the horn to fix this. Hi, Nertija. Nertija. Welcome. OMG, we found a bug. I don't know. Like, if anyone was here, I think they remember I did do Rebus and it worked. And now, nothing. It's just. But we know that this is. This is supposed to say elf. Hi, Evan. I'm using Chrome. Yes, I'm using Chrome. Should I refresh the page? Evan, we're having some technical difficulties. We know that Elf goes in this box. And I can't believe you put three letters in one box, Evan. Rebus refresh? I'm scared to refresh. If I refresh, will it erase all my answers? <laughs> the crossword king is in the chat. Okay, I'm gonna try to fill in some more answers. Oh, I forgot the one that Paula told me. Dang it. Try hitting the back with a prosopy key. Oh, I tried it. See? The, the E went in, but then it went away when I typed more. And if I hit backspace, see? It's like the letters are like going down or something. They're like going the wrong way. Instead of getting smaller. Because look, the first letter shows up. I wish I could, like, show you guys what I was typing. <laughs> what if I, like, pick up my keyboard? Guys, look. Okay, look. E. Look. E. It's in the box now. I'm gonna hit the L. Look. Here's L. L. It's gone! But now if I hit backspace, like, backspace, the E is back. See? It's, like, putting them in, but they're, like, disappearing. What's going on? That's really odd. That's what I'm saying. Do F. Well, I'll just type E L F and leave it. So, all right. Moving on, moving on. Use the arrow keys? Let's just move around the puzzle. Yeah, type F then hit enter. Okay, let me try it. Type F. F. Enter. Now, adjust your resolution. Oh! Suddenly it showed up when I made it bigger! There it is, you guys! Hmm? It appeared! Yeah. The elf is in the box! The elf is in the box! Yeah. How did that work? I don't know! I just made it a little bigger and then I could see it! I don't know, did I have it like at How the wrong the size? I elf word in one box! I must have had it at the wrong size! Yeah, I know, right, babe? Evan is being really sneaky. He's putting three letters in one box. Oh, uh, this is like the witness now. The witness? <laughs> Has Evan played the witness? I'm going to put that on my list of questions. This is like the witness. He keeps changing the rules of the crossword game. <laughs> Guys, I finally figured it out. It only took... I'm going to reward myself with eating some of my scone. <laughs> Thanks for whoever suggested to change the resolution or whatever. Look at my scone. It's really, like, hard, but it's good. <laughs> it's because you type elf in all caps? No, I didn't. 
I just type it in whatever and it automatically puts it in all caps. <laughs> Evan is kawaii. Evan is so kawaii. Oh, crunchy. I can't believe Evan incorporated a jump scare in the crossword. That was a jump scare. It just suddenly appeared. The browser couldn't fit off in the smaller box size, yeah. Yep. All right. No, 127 is not train. Santa said, sorry I was late. I had to send the elf to help you. <laughs> 27 across is tram? I don't know. Do trams take coal? Is that the coal one? Coal transporter. I feel like it's a joke about coal, like you get coal if you're bad. Or maybe not. Better though. Look at 23 again, it has a star. Oh. <gasps> and it says elf. Babe, elf is in the middle of welfare. We're making crosswords. What? Elf. Elf. Thank you, Miller Low Life, for two months. Uh, we are making crosswords. This is the elf history. theme. It is elf theme. Santa's little helper is elf. This is elven made. But does that mean we should rebus it? Cause shouldn't we... If it was rebus, it would be here. So what's this? Composer Thomas, whose surname is an anagram of 94 across. Okay, we have to solve 94 across. We have to solve 94 across. Imminent. Guys, is it near? And then his... Surname as an anagram of that, so who knows composer Thomas? <laughs> Thirteen down elfin like December among all months. What? What do you mean among all months? I don't get that one. Coal transporter might be sock, like you get coal in your stocking. Oh, yeah, I kind of like that answer. My brother, when we were little, he always wanted coal in his stocking because he thought coal was really cool. He wanted to like play with coal. He like insisted that they put some coal in his stocking and I think they did once. <laughs> coal transporter could be mine. Oh, that could be too. That could be. Mm -hmm. No, my brother's not stupid. Coal is cool. Have you ever had coal? <laughs> it's cool. Mm. Oh, cart. It could be cart. 15 D is curate. Okay. I like that answer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good answer. Mm, theoretical evolution inter evolutionary intermediate. Mm. So like what are those called? Are there any biologists in here? What's it called like the in between like evolutionary like stages? They're called cells? No 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 much longer than that. It starts with an E. Elf, elf, N. Animorph. Dang, there's no biologists here. Uh, how about we try 20 across? Minor opposite. Mm. Still don't really know that. And I'm still confused how this could rebus. But... Cause then it would be elf. It would be like, elf would be right here. And then it would be A-R-E. And then there would just be two squares left. 
Welfare what? But why would this one need to be Rebus and that one not? What's going on? Evan! I think welfare is right in a clue that elf will go in one square. You think it's just like a clue for the other one? The two letters are before the Electronic word Electronic dance music shit. Oh. Rave. Rave? Which one's Rave, babe? 25. Oh. Good one. Maybe we can get this. Exercise power. And it has a V in it. Guys, let's exercise power. This will help us solve the welfare issue. Phone and Evan. <laughs> I'd like to use a phone and Evan. You need universal in one box. Wait, what? Exercise power. Exercise V power. Revolt. Oh. Thank you, the Maxi. Yeah, we're listening to it right now. Unless it ended already. It's a very short album. Uh, now we're listening to Hiroshi Yoshimura. I put it back to Plantasia. Oh, maybe we should put this CD in. Though I don't know if my computer has a CD player. I haven't listened to it yet. It's Mark Garson. Uh, oops, this is a sticker. It's his new... Well, it's previously unreleased alternate take from Plantasia. Can you read it? Probably not. Should I put this in? Oh, there he is! Look, guys! There's Mark Garson making Plantasia. Look at him. He's so awesome. He looks like he's wearing a pair of those disguise glasses that give you, like, a fake nose and mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Nolene! Alright. Exercise power could be revolt, and I liked that answer, so I'm putting it in to see what it looks like. Megaphone sound. Oh! Megaphone sound. What could that be? Babe, what's a megaphone sound? You know about megaphones. No! Young man! What's the password? What? Oh no, what's the password? That's your impression of a megaphone? Oh, oh no. <laughs> what's the secret password? This is a hard one. It's govern? Oh no, people are saying that exercise power is govern? <gasps> are you chatting from separate rooms? No, Jason is. He's. <laughs> Our desks are in the same room. Um, govern, dang. Oh, what about this? Carpentry item. Well, I kind of like a T for this. Oh, but an N could work. It could be nail. It could be nail. Hold on. Let's try that. Oops. And try govern. Oh my god! Receiving financial aid is on welfare. Babe, it's on welfare. Receiving financial aid. Mm. Guys, I got the elf. <laughs> right? That must be it. Receiving financial aid on welfare. I still think it's welfare elf. <laughs> So now this one is like December among all months. I don't know what that could be yet. Pretty sure you're wrong and it's beans. <laughs> no. 33A is Blair. Thank you. I'll check that out. Megaphone sound. Oh, Blair. 
Mega Fern. <laughs> Someone's saying sorry you got banned from League, babe. <laughs> Your two week ban five years ago. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so sorry that happened to you. a good point, babe. Hmm. We mustn't neglect the possibility that Kaka Dicka is in there somewhere. <laughs> I don't think Evan is gonna do that. Mm -mm. Although he does like to put those naughty words in his puzzle. Like Kaka Dicka. Oh, this is I. Sight of rods and cones, I. Once I dissected a cow eye. Mm. Did you ever dissect an eyeball, babe? Mm -mm. No? I think I, we would did a frog, but I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I never did a frog. That freaked me out. <laughs> I did a cow's eyeball, and I did a fetal pig. But we didn't yeah. do a frog. They like gave us a whole fetal pig. Oh my god. Instead of a frog. Stink. Service after breakdown. Well, wouldn't that be toe? Wouldn't that be toe? And then, like, why this isn't Grace anymore? It's Attica! Ah, but look how good this was fitting. And then this is probably not that. If it's Attica, then what could this be? Composer Thomas? Oh! And then that makes it an anagram of near. Attica. Of course. And this is toe. Okay, minor opposite. Grown up! It's grown up! The opposite of a minor! Oh, you got two Ponzi? I didn't see that. Grown up, minor opposite. Evan's so clever. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Evan is so clever. <laughs> is this Ape Men again? This is literally Ape Men again. Evan, why are you putting Ape Men in your puzzle twice in a row? <laughs> Why all the ape men? <laughs> it's literally ape men <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh my god, it's 12! Is that how you spell 12? It totally is. <laughs> Ooh, Evan loves ape men. Yep. It's tram? It is tram. Coal transport is just tram. Thanks, JZM3. I'm getting so many compliments on my Plantasia sweater. I'm so happy. I think 14 down is in a rut. Oh. Yep, stuck at some boring job. Yep. In a rut. And this is on the beach author Neville. Oh. I actually don't know that. Shoot? Is that a name? Huh. Shrew. Mix is in soup bowl. Mix is in a soup bowl. It could be stir. Someone said it was stir earlier, but they rescinded it. They said it wasn't stir. 
good 16 down content? Okay, wait a minute. Ape men? Why is Evan sending good ape men content? Why do you have ape men content, Evan? Babe, Evan put ape men in the puzzle again. Ape men. He put ape men in the puzzle again, and now he just sent a link and said it's good ape men content. Ape men, yeah. This is the Simpsons. Hold on. Turn off my music. Am I allowed to play The Simpsons on Twitch? Stop the planet. Wait. Stop the planet of the apes. They want to get off. That's what I say. I hate the planet of the apes. It scares me. Look at Thelma. Am I allowed to show this? He can talk, 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 he can sing. Ooh, hell, Dr. Ew, what is that woman monkey? Dr. Sayers, Dr. Sayers. Wait, they're like real ape men. Dr. Sayers, Dr. Sayers. Dr. Sayers, Dr. Sayers. Oh, Dr. Sayers. <laughs> Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. What's wrong with me? Who I loves think you're crazy. Man. Want a second opinion? You're all so lazy. Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. <laughs> I feel like I can't play like two minutes of The Simpsons on Twitch. Am I allowed to? Oh, look, it's the Statue of Liberty. Sinking. They have that in our, in our city. They have like a big Statue of Liberty like sinking in the lake in the winter. They put it on the ice and it looks like that. All right, so Evan is a real ape man, ape man fan. If it's not, I'll just show sorry. I don't know if it is. It probably isn't. Uh, I don't know. But thank you, Evan. I mean, we were allowed to just look at it anyway. 36 across is Yankee Foxtrot Hotel. Wilco album whose title consists of three letters from the NATO. NATO. Phonetic alphabet. But that doesn't. Yankee Foxtrot Hotel doesn't have the word elf in it. What's. How can we put elf in that? Huh. Wait. Yankee Hot Sex Treat? What? What? Yankee Hotel. Oh, Elf. Oh. It is isn't it. Hang on. Yankee, that fits. Hotel. This is where the Elf would go. It is that. Foxtrot. Look! It fits! Babe, look! Wow. That was wild. <laughs> 33 down is now Belf. Belf? <laughs> Ringing steeple. Oh, it's Belfry. It's a Belfry. Belf. Ringing steeple section. It's a Belfry. Yay. <laughs> Belf. Belf for short. Sends high overhead. Lobs. Lobs. Chasers in a saloon. Oh, babe. What's a chaser in a saloon? Uh, I go to lots of saloons. Hang out with the cowboys. Uh, Chaser. That's what you drink after you drink a nasty drink. Yeah. But what do cowboys drink? They drink whiskey. No, what's like a chaser for a cowboy? Beer. No, it starts with P-O. Poison. <laughs> poison. <laughs> Give me some of that poison. Ah, oh, thank you, gosh, Hex Santa, for gifting Ponzi. Thank this you, is Santa. a trick answer. It might be a trick. Whoa, hot salad subscribe. Thanks, hot salad. Hot salad sounds icky, but thank you. <laughs> 41 across Excel. Achieve great things. Excel. Oops. Cool, I like that. And that makes this lax in ink. Yep, that fits. Gonna 
answer, Steve. 59 across is orb. Okay. Mystical sphere. Ooh, mystical sphere. Orb. I wish I had a mystical sphere. Chasers in a saloon. Someone said posse, and I kind of think that's a good answer. Oh, Romania's, Romania's neighbor is Serb. I think it is posse. Like a posse of like cowboys is chasing you in the saloon. Okay. Right. I'm good. Right. Says hi. Is that really greets cordially though? Says hi. Trailblazing still stage actor Aldrich. Aldrich. Ah, Jillian! Thank you, Jillian, for gifting us up to DZM. Thanks, Jillian. Snacks so one could get with Santa rather than cookies. What? Santa only eats cookies, though. Babe, you're the Santa expert. What is it? Well, this is my area of expertise. Yes, it is. And if you're trying to give a snack to cook, Santa. Look at Jason. What he likes to have is. Look at Jason leaning back, saying he's the expert on Santa. Uh, let me think here. Uh, the Santa expert here. What do you give to Santa? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it truly is a great question. <laughs> hmm. well. Thank you, Invisible Man, for the bets. Come on, Santa expert, Santa what is it? Santa likes to have... He eats... Hanko. <laughs> hanko bread. Hanko? He likes Hanko <laughs> bread. Hanko. <laughs> That's the best you've got. You couldn't even think of a food. Santa likes to eat Hanko bread. <laughs> Ho-hos. Ho-hos? Oh my god, because he said ho ho ho. Yeah, I said ho ho. Oh my god. That's a good one. It's holy ho -hos. That's so funny. That's so funny. Honko bread is real wild though. I'm like... Honko bread. Only Jason has the recipe for honko bread. This is a honko bread. <laughs> Eat some nice yep. scone. That's a piece of honko bread she's got. Yep. OMG, you have the froggy badge. Yeah! I love the frog badge and the mushroom badge together. It's so cute. 49 D I R A. Hmm. Well, it says. Oh, Ira? Ira Aldridge? Is that an uh, actor? Actress? The background music sounds like Metroid. It's Plantasia. I'm playing it because I'm wearing my sweater. Plantasia. <gasps> Tesla. 65 is Michael. Michael. No, wait. 64. Oh, that's not Tesla. Nikola Tesla. Oh, it is Tesla. Nikola. But it has a elf thing. It needs to have an elf in it. So like, how could it be Nikola Tesla? Michael Faraday? Wait, who the hell is that? <laughs> I've never heard of him. Michael, Michael Faraday. Oh my God, really? He invented the first electric generator? Wow, I've never even heard of him. Michael, you have invented the first generator, Michael. Michael, I can't believe you're finally inventing electricity, Michael. Ah, thank you. Oh, Edible Elmo, thank you, that's so sweet. And please force Evan to do the pelican noise really loud. I don't think Evan knows what the pelican noise is. Not even Jason will do the pelican noise. Will you do it, babe? 
the pelican? Yeah. Well, you gotta do something that's where I see a pelican. Okay. Oh, look over there. There's a pelican right up there. It's flying by a pelican. Where? It's right out the window right now. I don't see one. It just flew. I don't think they have those here. Oh, come on. Just do it. <laughs> Phil RP. <laughs> Someone said Phil RP. <laughs> it was a Phil RP. You gotta be bad like the ocean for that thing. They have them in Milwaukee. No way. They do. Babe, there's a pelican in Milwaukee. Oh my gosh, I wonder what kind of noise it makes. There ain't no pelicans in Milwaukee. That's a damn fool if you're thinking that. It actually does. Oh, someone will donate all their gnome coins to you if you do the pelican sound, they said. Uh, I can't Cora. do it. Cora is offering all their gnome coins. I can't do it unless there's a situation. Oh, 39 down is oak. Let's see. It sprouts from an acorn. Yay. That's cute. Mix is a soup. <laughs> Ball. How about this? Of whom an art patron said he is a loathsome, offensive brute, yet I can't look away when viewing a painting of him on Seinfeld. Oh my god, wait! Well, the painting was of George Costanza. So, why is it not? Oh, wait, it was of Kramer? Oh, there was also a Kramer paint. Well... Kramer. No, the painting is George laying down in his boxers. There was a Kramer painting, too. My parents did have the Kramer portrait up on the wall, but I thought it was just like a poster of him. I didn't know that was painting. I haven't seen that episode. I guess, yeah, there was like a frame around it. My parents had that on the wall. The Kramer one. My parents love Seinfeld a lot. My parents even have Seinfeld Trivial Pursuit. Film hero who battles in the Thunderdome! Mad Max! Right? Is Mad Max Thunderdome? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, good. Thunderdome. Oh, tell Jason to look at this photo. Babe, I'm gonna show a photo. You have to see it, okay? Here it comes. Alright. Thanks, Poop27. Oh, wow, look at this, babe. What is this? Well, that's a pelican. Wow, I wonder what kind of noise that thing would make. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> that was a really good pelican, too. <laughs> That was so good. Thanks, babe. <laughs> How does he do that? <laughs> Someone said that was cool. <laughs> I agree that was cool. Let's see. CEO or CFO's degree? Oh, it's like a MBA. Is that right? Nano? Oh, people are saying nano for this. Oh, nano. Pave the way for it. Enable! And this is some weapons in the game. Skyrim! Skyrim! Skyrim, Skyrim alert! It's the Axis. Skyrim alert. Gamer X. question. Gamer question. <laughs> for the Legion of Gamers. I played that game. What? There's an axe in that game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Green pool target. What? Green pool target. Ball? Ball? Something ball. Thank you, Hakuman, for subbing with time. Good time. The two ball. 
Is the two ball green? Oh. <laughs> I don't know what color the two ball is. Is it actually green? I actually don't know. Oh, Wisconsin Joe subscribed. Thanks, Wisconsin Joe. Oh, uh, two is blue. Six uh, ball. Two is blue. Six ball? Wait, but you're cheating by Googling, so that's not like... No, no, I just, I just remembered. No, you didn't. I just remembered I heard all the colors typing. of each ball. Oh, I got a, I got an email. Thanks to Wisconsin Joe. Thanks for the email, Joe. Christmas blank. Seasonal drink from Great Lakes Brewing Company. Wait, Evan, are you a Midwesterner? Oh, that emo did gift a sub. Thank you, emo dude, for gifting dongle. Christmas elf. It's Christmas blank. Seasonal drink from. Great Lakes Brewing Company. Ale. People are saying ale. That yeah, makes sense. <gasps> and then this is Belfast. Carpe diem. Okay, Belfast. 79. 79? Carpe diem. Good answer, babe. Yep, Midwesterner. Originally from Highland Park, Illinois, about 30 miles. Cool, I've been there. Very cool, very cool. I could tell I've been with a Midwesterner. Oh, the coolest people are. Second sound. Second Echo. Sound. Oh my god, babe! That was so smart! Did you get that from the chat? No. Someone said it in the chat. I know stuff. That was so smart if you thought of it. I know stuff sometimes. Good one, babe. And watch this. I got another Ooh, one lined spongy up. spongy desserts, guys. I want to know this one. Spongy desserts. Oh, I actually know this, too. Ooh, Herb said, are we excited for the Nintendo world? Yes. Yeah. We're so excited. We want to go there so bad. We miss going places. I really want to go. Sponge cakes? Well, I don't think that sponge can be in the answer because the clue says spongy. Angel food cake. Spongy desserts. Angel food cakes. Oh my god, that does have elf in it! It does! Does it fit though? It fits! It fits! Angel food cakes. Yeah. They are spongy. Good one, guys. Like the Who's opening lyric, the song is over. What? Babe, do you know that song? The Who? The Pinball Wizard. The Pinball Wizard? Why are you saying that? The Pinball Wizard. What's that? Oh, this is Ginger. Spice and Christmas cookie. It's Pinball Wizard something? Oh, ironic! Good one. <gasps> 75 Donuts Elfman? I was wondering if Danny Elfman would be in here. Oingo Boingo. <laughs> Oingo Boingo. <laughs> That's, That's him. Danny Elfman. <laughs> Oingo Boingo. What the fuck? <laughs> That's funny. Whenever I see that thing, this fucking creeps me out, Oingo Boingo. Oingo Boingo creeps you out? Why? They're just trying to be creepy. They're always doing creepy stuff. Oingo Boingo. Oh, wow. I just saw a picture that creeped me out. Whoa. Oh my god. That's Cool Z. Which, is that Danny Elfman in the front? Yeah. With the guns? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he like this? <laughs> Look at his freaking um contour on his cheek. He has all this makeup. And his arm. <laughs>
arms are so red. He's an ape man. Why is the bottom half of his arm all hairy and the top head is bald? The top is bald and the bottom is so hairy. And Every who's this guy? Everybody else is like looking all serious. Except for that sunglasses guy smiling. What's that tiny little saxophone? Hang on, look how small this man's saxophone is. Look at it! Why is it so little? There's a lot of weird things going on in this picture. Thank you, Akari, for subbing with Prime. Thanks, Akari. Stole it from an elf? <laughs> That's an elf saxophone. Wow. I didn't really know Oingo Boingo was this creepy. Oh my, Danny Elfman! See how creepy they are? Yeah, they are. I like them though. <laughs> Freak show. That's funny. Oh no, don't look guys! I wasn't supposed to open that tab yet. It was like, I'm gonna scroll so in case I- Oh no, I'm not looking! I didn't see it. I have that open because it's the blog post that I like to read after we solve, but sometimes I open the tab before we've solved and I go, ha ah. Yeah. You have all the answers? No, it was too quick. I didn't actually see any of it. 69 is Eon. I didn't actually read any words, thankfully. It's Eon? Yeah. Period divided into eras. Okay, yep, yeah, I like that. Places. Steads. I think it's steads. No, I didn't steal the answer key, guys. I just have it in a tab so it's prepared, so I don't have to search around for it while I'm streaming. Hi, it's Ed Boy. What's up? Guys, I'm not cheating. Do your taxes or Danny Elfman will come and take your taxes? <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you're gonna scare your children? It's Danny Elfman. <laughs> Letters you can't read. Scratch? No. Scrawl? Scrawl. What's this background music? It's Plantasia! It's Plantasia. It's music written for plants. This specific song is the music to soothe the savage snake plant. I'm not cheating, Paula. I would never. Buses for fried rice. Oh, is it walks? And fabricator's product. Fabricator. Lie. A lie. And this is noir. Babe, you like noir movies, right? Yeah. Meadow Beast. Whoa, what's a Meadow Beast? Do you think Evan prefers print crosswords compared to Newfangled Internet? I don't know. I think Evan is like kind of the high tech crossword genius because remember that time when we had to like put the letters in like the black spaces and he said it was Dark Souls? <laughs> and now we have to do this Rebus. So I feel like he likes these uh, internet puzzles. But we can ask him. I contact Evan for all my crossword IT needs. Oh, crossword IT needs. I'm gonna get a crossword tattooed on my back. Do not, do not do that. I'm gonna ask Evan if he would get a crossword related tattoo. <laughs> okay. Cartoonist Bill. Guys, who knows this cartoonist Bill? Watterson? Is that the guy who does Foxtrot or whatever? 
Bill Tran? No, no, it's not Tran, it's not Tran. Cartoonist Bill. Keenan and Bill. <laughs> What's funny? What's Kenan funny? Keenan and Bill. Huh? Keenan and Bill. Yeah, Keenan and Bill. Oh, it's Keen, the family circus guy? Oh, I don't like family circus. <laughs> I'm sorry to all the family circus fans, but I don't like family circus. Sees if one can, tries to. <laughs> Nothing ever happens in family circus. This is like, this is family circus. They'll have like the little boy and the little girl or whatever, and then they'll just like say something to each other and they'll be like, look at this cool rock I found. And the girl will be like, that's really cool, that rocks. And that would be the whole comic for the whole week. That's good. <laughs> it's not even that funny. I don't know what goes on in that comic. Nothing ever happens. Family Circus is illustration with white noise. Wait, illustration white noise. Yeah, I agree with whatever that means. <laughs> Aaliyah versus Keen Deathmatch? No! I don't want to fight! I'm sure it's like a sweet old person who makes it. And I love sweet old people, so... I'm not trying to fight anybody. Okay, drop it. Drop it. I don't know what that would be. Completely all? Oh, let go. Oh, Sid Scratch continuing his subscription. Thank you, Sid. His gift sub. No, I'm not canceling Family Circus, guys. I would never. <laughs> I was just stating my personal thoughts on it. 57A, ew. Oh, Meadow Beast. I agree. Frequent hiking site for Calvin Hobbs. Is it woods? Did they go in the woods? Oh, this is a go. A few weeks ago. <laughs> Hi, Chicken Strip Boy. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Watch Gears Tooth. I don't know that. Oh, cog! Right? Is that what that is or no? I'm not too sure. Flug Killer says, yeah. Lily Fresh says, sounds good. Okay, I'll put it in. No, not cock, not cock. Evan only puts cock in the puzzle sometimes. This week, there's no bad words because it's a Christmas, Christmas puzzle. Union General George. George Washington. Hmm. This is grass cover surface. Oh, sod. Oh, me mead. Former wearing Gaida. Hold on, what's Gaida? Gaida? More alien! Baby. Thank you, more alien for two months! Thank you for subbing. Gaida is wooden shoes. Oh. Wooden shoes. Oh, Geisha! That fits, that fits. Good answer, Steve. Sunken treasure sites. Seas? Perhaps? Like sharper, like sharp sure. images on TV. I N blank D. What? What could that be? Oh, in HD! Good one. NHD. I like that. 
I want to find more of the, um... Whoa, whoa, what are you saying, Sid Scritz? You're all tickled by the idea of cock and a crossword. I don't know if we are. <laughs> I wonder how you'll enjoy seeing penis in an actual New York Times puzzle from 1995. Oh my god, that must have been so shocking in 1995 in the New York Times. That must have been a scandal. <coughs> Babe, did you know that? What? They put penis in the puzzle in 1995. New York Times puzzle. No, you can't do that. You can't do that. Isn't that shocking? You can't do that. I'm shocked. I'm... I'm horrified. <laughs> it was... It probably was a mini scandal, but it wasn't clued in the way you think. Well, I have no clue how it was clued. I'm just thinking they put penis. That's scandalous. You can't do what that. was the clue? Wait, Evan knows what the clue was? Is Uncle Dunk eating the dino nuggies? No. But we did order like the... Like the normal chicken tenders version of those dino nuggies that you're talking about. Chicken strip. Uh, the, the blank mightier. That was the clue? The blank mightier? So the penis mightier? That was the clue? What, how is that? A, that's even worse than I thought the clue would be. What is that? Who says that? Oh, the oh, pen the is mightier. Puzzle. It really wasn't. It was pen is. That is so funny. <laughs> the penis mine. Good one. Oh, this is alibi. No, it's a alias. Org planning take your family to school week. The PTA. Oh my god, last night we were watching, like, at like 1am we were watching an hour long video of public freakouts and one of them was a HOA meeting and it was the funniest video I've ever seen. I can't believe it was real still, it was like the office but like a HOA meeting. There was like this guy in the middle and he was so mad this woman like put her garbage cans visible without like a screen covering them or something. It was just, there was all these funny characters. I'll have to watch it sometime. That HOA meeting. It was so funny. Medicare section that covers inpatient hospital stays. Wow, I don't know that at all. Medicare Part B? Oh my god, are you like a Medicare expert? Thanks, Exo, second base. Christmas. I didn't notice. Oh, my bandaid is coming off. Please, can I have link, please? Wait, what do you want to watch? Oh, you were talking about the video. Yeah, I'll have to find it another time. I don't want to go search it for it right now. One eleven across is court. Let's see. Like tennis legend Margaret Court's last name. <laughs> it's not Court. It's apt. It's apt. Get it. Ready to graduate. Somebody say crossword. Whoa! T you scared me. <laughs> Hi, Tumbo. You're very quiet. I think. I was just far away from my mic. Oh, now you're okay. Hi, Tumbo. Hello. Look how good we're doing on our crossword. Oh my god, I missed the whole thing. Boggy, well no, there's a lot left. Boggy, Louisiana area. Boggy. Bayou. Bay the bayou. They have such a funny accent in Louisiana. She 
She's using the band-aid because I attacked her? What? Chicken strip. Don't perpetuate this nonsense. Who did you attack? None of these incidents happen. He's lying. It will be our little secret. Keep that to yourself! Elf! Elf! Keep that to yourself! Oh, is that like a... Good... <gasps> yeah, the yeah. trick is that he's putting elf in like one box, which I am oh. so shocked they allow that three letters in one box that's so crazy that does sound kind of too crazy thank you holy shading for subbing with prime keep that to yourself that's what keep i say to you chicken to strip yourself. keep that to yourself chicken strip <laughs> wow uh was that the last elf answer i'm sad if it is I like the elf answers. Evan has the biggest ball. <laughs> what is it? What? Chat, don't say Evan has the biggest ball. <laughs> He's here. What a visionary, a true rebel. <laughs> he hears what you're saying. City where many Dutch monarchs were buried. Anyone know Dutch monarch burial facts? That's Dutchtopia. Dutchtopia. Hmm. <laughs> Where's Dutch from? Is Dutch Denmark? Dutch is German. Oh. Deutschland. I think. If I'm wrong, I'll be embarrassed. Holland? The Netherlands? Oh, it's wrong. Ben, disregard what I said. I was tricky. It is. I said. Didn't I say? Oh, no, I said Denmark. <laughs> Not Germany. Yeah, as soon as I said it, I was like, that's wrong. Well, isn't isn't and, uh, Germany my called Deutschland? The reason I also thought that is because my family had a tradition of making some pastry that they called Dutch letters. They said it was Dutch letters, but my family is like all German, so I thought it was like German. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of third love. Evan. Third love lingerie? How do you know like a obscure Whoa. lingerie company? Bit of third what is third love? Is I that... guess it's bra because that's what it only fits, but oh. like Evan, what? <laughs> <laughs> Evan's pushing the boundaries of family friendliness. Oh, ESP! ESP, yeah. Oh, look, there's another Extra elf one. Perception. There's another elf? Oh, well, with this. Well, you this use is the elf, Dutch yeah. Monarchs. That's the Dutch Oh, monarchs, what city? Felft. Yeah. What's 95 across? Ready to graduate? Say. Like the, the biblical son who wasted his fortune. 113 is beta. Which one? 114 is beta? 113. At oh, oh, Software 91 testing down phase. is part is, is, is prodigal, prodigal, prodigal. Really? Yeah, because the prodigal son. Is that what that means? The prodigal son. No, that's the story in the Bible. It's the prodigal son. Prodigal son. I don't know how to fucking say that. It's the pronounced prodigal. Who wasted his fortune. I've never heard of that. I don't He's know a that dude. Much and his dad gave him a ton of money and, ran, and then he left and spent it all and he came back he's like oh all i know is people say oh the prodigal son returns yeah that's what yeah they say that sarcastically though like uh, oh the prodigal son returns like you don't want him to return yeah oh, i don't know that story i never heard that one i'm gonna make a movie out of it don't worry it's a bible story Moved on in one's life. Moved on in one's life. Um, don't really know that one. Fairy tale behemoth ogre. <laughs> ogre. Wait, but that doesn't fit with this. Oh no. Ogre. Me I think it's ogre. A, guys. Is this part A? Me ogre. Is this actually part A? Wait, moved on in one's life. Oh. Me Medicare section that covers impatient. I don't know what the heck that is. Yearns. 
attack as the fridge raid. Raid, raid the fridge. The prodigal son that returns home regardless of what they did is celebrated. What? So they like the prodigal son now? I don't know. It's his ben brother saying. doesn't like him. No, but the product his the his dad brother. does, but the brother doesn't. The brother's like, oh, you fucker. What does what prodigal does mean, though? I thought it meant something like, like he was like a like a prodigy. Prodigy, yeah. That For a prodigal good. means spending money or resources freely and recklessly. Oh. <clears throat> so it's not prodigy. No. It's or having or giving something on a lavish scale. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, this is sensor. Remove a curse word. Sensor. Mixed ish network. Guys, what network is that show on? Mixed ish. NBC? S somebody TLC? says 99D is shitty. Okay. TLC, NBC, and ABC. <laughs> Which one's shitty? 99D. <laughs> yeah, right. Really wretched. That, that one's really shitty. Really wretched. Shitty. <laughs> Evan. Shitty. <laughs> Evan. Did you write shitty in your Christmas puzzle, Evan? I don't think Wait, so. Wait, oh, is it, oh, this is the last puzzle before Christmas. It's called Santa's Little Helper. See, Ben? That's why Elf is in it. Also, can we get this letter? This must be stir. That must be stir. I'm putting it in. Parish officer who sounds like an insect. What? <sighs> Empathize with... How about this? Author of the... Oh, yes, another elf one. The Brontes who went to Woolworths. How do you know that's an elf one? Because there's a star by it. Uh, wait, the Brontebes went to. Isn't the Woolworths went like to a Woolworths. store in New York City? Yeah. George Clooney. Rachel Ferguson? 126 is George Clooney. Rachel Ferguson? 126 it's Rachel across? Ferguson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. George of a Brother of Art, though. <laughs> Oh, I love old brother word though. That is clue. Rachel Ferguson. Thank you, Clyde. I didn't know who that was. But it has elf in it, so I like it. Alright, where's the George here? Clune. George Clune. George Clune. Good old G Clunes. Hi, Pumsy. You're hyped for the Evan interview? Who's getting hyped for the Evan interview? <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'm pre-gaming. I'm so excited. I'm pre-gaming <laughs> to have an interview. Me too, with my tea. My tea is all gone, though. Yoko Ono. I almost wore a Beatles shirt today. Sparkling Crown is a tiara. Blank Wednesday. Ash Wednesday. Small Coral Island. Is that K? Same with me. As am I. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> song, song, and pews. Him. Him. And this is Elfin. Like Santa's little helpers. Elfin. But wouldn't you usually spell it with a V? Elvin? I guess Elfin is fair too. Um, it would be Elvin, but he's saying it's like Santa's little helper, so it's Elfin now. Elfin. Whoa, Pumsy says, Tumbo, I have a friend named Ben, and he is also the Joker. What? Oh my. He no needs way. to join my crew. Our Ben is the Joker. It's <laughs> happened to my buddy Eric. This duty. Bring litigation against Sue. Oops, Sue. Surgery sites briefly. I have a friend named Ben and he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> <That's funky. laughs> Wait, how weird. do all these people know you? 
No. <laughs> no, it isn't me. Let's see. And heaven and and heaven and da da sing and heaven and ba ba sing. I don't know heaven what it is. Nature. It's nature. nature. Oh, I never knew it was Go that. Go to the world, something dumb, boo. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven Wait, and nature a... sing. <laughs> Mesh under Trappy's net. Yes, that's complete. That's great. Empathize with. Mm. Oh, look, another one with elf in it. One more elf word. Auto executive for whom an infamous failed car was named. Oh my god, is it like the, the goblin car? The gremlin car? <laughs> What's that car? The green, oh, the green goblin mobile. The car. I know what it is. Guys, what is it? Gobble car? Dang, what is it called? What's that terrible car? My mom had one. Auto executive for whom an infamous car, failed car was named. My mom had one. What is it called? Gremlin is a car? Aw, is it? Was, Pe I people think keep saying gremlin. DeLorean, but that doesn't fit. No, it's not DeLorean. And it has to have Elf in it. Yeah, it has to have Elf. Auto people executive. People keep saying DeLorean, I'm going to lose it. Ed's Elf Ford, this guy says. Ed's Elf Ford. That sounds made up. But it fits. Who says that? I don't even see it. Oh, Edsel. This... Edsel Ford. Well, that's a failed car? Ford? Forbes magazine called no, it the blunder of the executive. century. The blunder of the century. Wait, which one is? Edsel is a real car. Hmm. Darn, I thought it would be Gremlin. <laughs> Why was that car called Gremlin? I think my mom had one. I don't actually know now. Maybe it's a false memory. I thought my dad said she had one. Blank rabbit. Oh, the bear, the bear of rabbit. The Bernstein rabbits? The bear of rabbit. The gremlin was a semi-successful car. Oh. <laughs> Empathize with. Oh, something, something for. Feel for? Feel for. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. If anyone's curious, I just remember this old puzzle by Evan where the last theme answer is John had cock? Oh, whoa. What? Evan? 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 Hi, reinforcements. This is not a joke. The clue was Mr. Madden enjoyed some rooster for dinner. John had cock. That's funny. Evan is so cheeky. <laughs> Evan. Where's my picture of Evan? Evan, Evan, Evan. You wrote John Hedcock. I can't believe this. <laughs> Evan is the best. Yeah. Um... Informal complaints. Informal complaints. He can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> I feel like that's his goal is to like get away with it. The most cheekiest answers. <gasps> Haley Badger, thank you for subbing with Prime. Thank you for this emote that I got. <laughs> Thanks, Haley. Uh, really wretched. Hmm. Hmm. Malcolm in the Middle, Cag Skimmerick. Is anyone Malcolm in the Middle buff? Life is unfair. <laughs> <laughs> Jane, Jane, good answer. Oh, this is, forgot you had an exam today. Emotion, terror. <gasps> Reject. 
deject, deject. It's a hundred down bre Abject. beetle. Abject. Informal complaints, beefs. It's beefs. <laughs> Evan has beef. And this is Evan ABC. Has beef with whoever exposed him for any John Hadcock. This is it. This is it, the last letter. It's D. It's D. Yay! One hour, 19 minutes. Not our high score, not our, not our record, but hey. Santa's Fluffy. little helpers. Fluffy showed up the, literally the second we finished. We did Fluffy. it, guys. Fluffy, you didn't do it. You didn't do we shit, did it. Fluffy. Fluffy. We did it. Fluffy, you didn't do shit. <laughs> Fluffy. Look, I'm just here to this take is, credit. This is like the third time I've seen I've seen someone say "pull your head out of your ass, Flup." <laughs> They're already saying that. <laughs> oh, I saying that. Pull too. your head out of your ass, Fluffy. What the fuck? It's okay. We like Fluffy. He could come in and celebrate with us. Yeah. Wait, did we solve the puzzle, Evan? I mean, like, was there like a more of a puzzle that we need to solve? Because. The first letter of the star dancer spell out a fitting seasonal word. Yeah, we need to do this. The first letter Santa, of all the it's answers. Santa. It's Santa. It's Santa, Steve. Wait, no, the, it's not. It the says first it's letter a T. Of all the answers. Yeah, the seasonal answers. Here, I need to type it on oh. my. <laughs> it just says elf I... in some of these boxes. That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> we had to put the letters here. I'm gonna get my um. My little scribbly board. One sec. Wait, you put the Steve as one of your emotes? Oh yeah. Well, it's like a but it's like a BTTV one. Cause I ran out no, of emotes. Oh, it's one of swaps. Jason's. Oh yeah, Jason has it too on his. Oh my god, that's so good. Oh, I have my whiteboard. <laughs> that's Wait, amazing. That's Jason's emote. Yeah. He Whoa. got it from my stream though, so he just had more emote slots than me, so he got to put it. That's a crossword, Steve. That's the cap of Steve. Someone sent it like when we were doing the crossword, I think. All right, so the first letter, what did it say? <laughs> the first letters of the star dancers will spell a fitting season. Right. Okay, so it would be T, right? Okay, I'm writing them down. Where's the second one? On welfare. T O Yankee Y. Oh, that's supposed to toy! That's supposed to toy! T O Y is supposed to toy, guys. We so did it. figured it out. No, I'm it. not looking it's at the chat because I don't want spoil. Scientist. Okay, M. Everyone's saying toy train. <laughs> toy oh, train. A? He's toy pog. <laughs> toy pog. Toy train. They need to get their head out of their ass if they're saying toy pog. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. You gotta get your head out of your ass. Heads. <gasps> I've solved it. I've solved it. Oh my god. It's toy maker. Like elf and Santa. It was toy maker. How did you do that already? I went through the puzzle. Boy, maker, it was Toy Maker! Boy, maker. But we solved it! And look what the secret answer this. was! He's getting too good at these. Yeah, Toy Maker. Like, Elf. Get it? Did we solve it, Evan? Toy maker did we complete it? That's so cute. Toy Maker. Ooh, Burn Holtzian. <clears throat> I agree. Well, this was quite a Bernholtzian puzzle. <laughs> what? They're gonna be saying that in like 50 years. <laughs> ah, this puzzle was very Bernholtzian. Thumbs up! We got the thumbs up. Should I read the blog before we do the Evan interview? Let's quickly see the blog before we do the Evan interview. Wait, oh, I got like a big, crumb on me. Breaking news! Breaking news! Moses was a Beyblade user. So someone in the chat says. What does that even mean? You don't know Beyblades? Hi, Mastro. Yeah, I do, but oh, like, like they're not. Moses from like the Bible. Moses from the Bible. They're not old. 
they're, they're pretty. I think they date back to the Bible era. What? Okay. <coughs> oh, look, he highlighted them in green. Toy maker. I can't believe he had three letters in one box. Is that allowed? Yeah, he's breaking some kind of rule. That's crazy. Okay. Um. Does that make the Rebus Square Elf on a shelf or Elf in a shelf? I think it makes the Elf in a shelf. <laughs> he is an avant garde crosswearer. What's that you're sending, Chibi CC? What is that YouTube link? Is it a safe I to think click it's, it? It's a link to Beyblade Moses. That's an actual thing in the Beyblade cartoon, apparently. Oh. They say what? Moses was a Beyblader, and that's how he. <laughs> Why did they do that? Huh? I think you're getting ahead of yourself. What yeah, the hell is this? Though you call yourselves bladers, you don't know the real truth about being bladed. There is a tremendous power hidden within bays. Since what ancient is times, this? the existence of bays can be found in moments. Why does he only have one glasses? Whoa! Whoa! That's most. <laughs> 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 Parting the Red Sea. Was that with the, the show? Why was it just like a PNG of a Beyblade sitting <laughs> by? The thing? Why didn't they animate it? What the fuck? <laughs> this PNG Wait, just spinning by. <laughs> okay. I don't know what, the, what all that's about. <laughs> okay. That was a good show. What else did Evan write in his blog? I couldn't resist adding a mini meta, so the note at the top of puzzles makes toy maker. I was surprised that I was able to find enough words and phrases to hide elf in different contexts. I recall it was a challenge to avoid repeating self in some way. In fact, I think 118A was originally going to be redeem yourself until I realized I had to keep I already had to keep that to yourself. Somebody, um, ban. Thank you. <laughs> uh, there are also a small smattering of other Christmas related clues. Aww, nog. Yeah, there was no eggnog in here. Missed opportunity for eggnog clue. Made nature. It's strange. For years, my choir would sing in an. Oh, you were in a choir? Would sing in an annual set of Christmas concerts every day for 10 years, you tend to get tired of rehearsing and performing some of the carols again and again. But since the pandemic shut everything down, I've missed singing these concerts a bunch this year. Aww. I miss doing the um, orchestra. My orchestra always used to play uh, Sleigh Ride or whatever. What is that one? The Sleigh? Winter Wonderland, I think it's called. And at the end of the song, there was like this whip instrument that would be like whoosh, and there was like these like horse hoof sounds and then our uh, conductor would make the horse noise like with her mouth she would just go <laughs> like a crazy horse noise in the middle of the song that was the best Pretty part good. of she went slay orchestra. mode yeah she was okay. like a horse woman she loved horses and she would just <laughs> make the horse, horse noise woman. she was like i do the horse noise like other people in the class wanted to do it, and she was like, "No, I do the horse." Wait, the teacher? Yeah, the teacher, the conductor. Horsey noise. She's like, "No." Yeah. I do the horse. Yeah, she does the horse. Wow. Yep. That's fucked up. Let the kids do the horse. Yeah, no, they're not allowed. She's the official horse. That's fucked up. It's not a very good teacher. Some friends of mine recently gifted me and my wife some delicious ginger chocolate cookies for the holidays. It's been a struggle Ooh. to avoid eating no more than one of them a day, but I think that can be helped by having additional snacks like ho-hos. Evan's trying to get his wife to give him ho-hos. 
Why do you On only top eat one cookies. a day, Evan? Yeah, Evan, listen. You only live once. Yeah, he wants hoes and cookies. You gotta just, Dang, you gotta send it. It's time to have it all. Yeah, he wants it all. <laughs> he Evan, if you keep, if you keep trying to get it all, you're eventually gonna lose it all. <laughs> what? Why, Ben? It's like the story of the prodigal son. He's gonna eat all his snot, his snacks. <laughs> The prodigal Evan returns. <laughs> prodigal Evan, he wanted ho hos and cookies. Evan just, just had to get, have it all. Get it all, Evan. Just get it all. Chase it. That's how he lost it all. Spoiler, spoiler <laughs> for next week's puzzle, guys. Now a few words of warning. Words of warning for next week's puzzle. It's large. It has a meta puzzle, and figuring out the meta answer might take some patience. It's one of the most uh -oh. complex puzzles I've ever uh -oh. written. I don't have any patience. Not necessarily because the grid itself. Well, I won't say more than that. Oh, he wants to say more. Except that if you can stick with it and get to the final answer, I think you'll enjoy it. Good luck and happy holidays. Oh my god, next week will be the hardest puzzle ever. I'm not going to be here next Sunday then. What? <laughs> I think I'm feeling, you weren't I think here I'm this Sunday. I'm, I'm scared of that. Scared <laughs> Someone of that. in the chat said Fluffy can do it. All right, maybe they I'll be here. They believe in you. Come on, Fluffy, you can do it. All right. Where did someone say that? Oh, he did say that. Is there any I thought, you're, I thought you're making that up to make Fluffy feel better. Guys, the hurricane is back. I'm back. Every week oh he's God. back. He's back. <laughs> we solved this puzzle together as a family of four and enjoyed it very much. My daughter drew in a tiny figure of an elf with a fine green tip green pen and each of the appropriate squares. Aww. Oh, they printed out. Look at the next one. Our favorite clue was for ho-hos, which made us laugh. We laughed too. We had feared the snacks that one should give to Santa rather than cookies might turn out to be beans? What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> we feared the snacks that one should give to Santa rather than cookies might turn out to be beans. Hey, look! There's a comment for us! Yeah. Beans? If Leah V sees this comment, keep up the great work. The guy has his entire Gmail. Watching her <laughs> solve Evan's puzzles each Sunday, and it's inspired my wife and I to solving them together as well. Thanks for the great puzzles each week, Evan. Yay! Oh That's my god. That's so cute. Thanks, Drummer Boy. Shout out to Drummer Boy and his wife. I'm really disappointed. That guy's gonna give beans to Santa. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's ho ho. Because Santa uh... says ho ho ho. Fabulous. Fabulous. That's what I say when I finish a crossword. Fabulous. I realized there were multiple letters oh, in a square with Tierra del Fuego. And Toymaker helped me out with need. I love the Santa cookie clue. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Everyone loved that Santa cookie clue. Me too. I'm giving him the beans. One. I solved it, but could not figure out how to get Elf into the squares, and so had to reveal a letter. Is there a more fair way to do that? Yes, it's called Rebus. Somebody tell Ratliner about Rebus. Evan told him. Oh, Evan did! <laughs> the quick Rebus! Yep. Evan was already on it. Alright. It's time for the inter Evan interview. Evan, are you ready? Should we leave? I don't I know. Well, I was going to call Evan, so... Um, I guess you guys can interview Evan, too. I'm going to set up my screen a little differently, though. Let's see. I'm going to set up for the Evan interview. Oh my god. It's happening. There's Evan. <laughs> Everyone, adjust your ties. Everyone. <laughs> Everyone get ready. Okay, I'm gonna add some text here. You should put a little mouth Interview on Evan and move it when he talks. Evan do you have a Bernholtz. question list? Yeah, I do. Are we gonna ask him about, like, the drugs? I am. Uh... <laughs> right. I was thinking, sure, that's my only you need question. To, you need to, that needs to be, the, like, one of the last questions. You need to make sure... No, that has to be the first. We need to know. That's the gotcha question. Yeah. The gotcha. Why does he do that? Gotcha, Evan. Why does this he do that? This dark secret is cocaine, we already know. <laughs> Let's see, what's his Twitter? I'm gonna like link his Twitter on the screen or something. Is it slash Evan Bernholtz, I think? Let me go verify one sec. Don't wanna get this wrong. 
It is, it is. I'm linking his social media. Is Evan okay, Beyblade? There's Evan. Here's the great. Sc okay, I've given the crown to Evan. Someone made this to fit Evan's head, and they did you a great job. You should change the opacity on the frog and just put it over his face. <laughs> Overlay? <laughs> yeah. Overlay it? Oh, let's try it. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, how do I change this? Is there a way to do this in OBS? Filters, maybe? I'm not sure. That would be hilarious. Transform. <laughs> How do I make this transparent? Pull your video out more? What do you mean? Pull my video out? Is there opacity on this thing? Image mask or blend? Oh, I found it. Oh no, I didn't. Dang it! I can't do it, guys. But look at this! If I do it really fast. <laughs> Oh no, he's transforming! He's transforming! Stop <laughs> he's him! Blinking. Stop! No! This is like the final boss transformation. Oh my god! It happened! <laughs> 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 okay, 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 okay. We'll put that back up there. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna call Evan. Who wants to come on the call with us? Raise your hand. Uh, I'll Fluffy. just watch on the stream. Yeah. Fluffy's coming. Okay. Fluffy's okay. the bad cop. I'm the good cop. Okay, bye oh guys. My God. Leave the call. Evan, I'm coming to call you now. I have lots of great questions prepared, and we'll have Fluffy in the call as well for a little good cop, bad cop. Let's see. I find Evan on Discord. It's ringing. Evan, pick up. He picked up. Wait, Evan, do you hear me? Yeah, hello? Hi, Evan. Oh, my God. I heard Wait, myself. Wait, should I um, close the, uh, the window? <laughs> yeah, I can hear an echo. Right. <laughs> Let me turn my music down. Can you guys in the chat hear Evan? Let me make sure everyone can hear him perfectly clear. I'll turn his uh, volume up too. Oh. Hi, Flippy. What's up? So, Evan, it's so nice to meet you. Thank you for doing a call with us. Yeah, no problem. Uh, this is my our friend Flippy, by the way, that I brought in Hello. here. Hello. Hi, Flippy. How's it going? Not bad. Uh, my cat actually just joined us too. Um, seeing if I can. Uh, uh, fantastic. Yeah. Wow. What's your cat's name? Her name is Lilu Dallas Multipass. Wow. <laughs> That's so fancy. Oh my god. That's wow. How That's did she get that name? Huh? That should be like the answer to a crossword clue. <laughs> What's my I cat's think I'm name? actually the only person who's put Lilu the name in a crossword. Um, really? Yeah, I just looked in a database and uh, yeah, I just typed in L E O O. Is yeah, it just one database. brand database or is it multiple? <laughs> um, it's a database that a, a crossword constructor uh, named Matt Ginsburg uh, put together, so I can look oh, up. Wow. Uh, what answers have you know got included before and i just typed in lilu and yeah i did that one three years ago as clued as supreme being in the fifth element oh, oh my god uh, well you know there's a french name lilu but it's spelled l-i-l-o-u that was the name of one <laughs> right. of my animal crossing uh mares Cool. That's a maybe you can use that in a puzzle. All right, That's let me go into our great questions, Evan. So, have you looked at the questions that were in the subreddit, or did you not spoil yourself? <laughs> I, I may have uh, peeked a little bit to uh, get myself ready because you gotta, you gotta forgive me. I'm not used to really doing a lot of public speaking, so 
That's you okay, know. yeah. I was just wondering if you did or not, because I picked some from there. I picked some of the most popular ones, but I have some other ones too. So, okay, right. this is our most burning question. Why are there so many drug references in your puzzles, Evan? <laughs> What What's going on with it? Wait, what, what the heck? <laughs> I know! <laughs> he giggled! I'm like... I'm like wondering if like the DEA is gonna come knocking on my door, you know, cause... Uh, you know... Um, I, mean, you, I mean, you know how it is, I gotta keep my handlers happy, you know, every time I put LSD in a puzzle... Your well, that's, you know, that's That's the signal, right guys? You know, that my uh, drug deals can happen, so... Uh, <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Wait, what are so you you're, saying? You're, you're, you're saying that you are a dealer or that you have a no. dealer? What are you? <laughs> are you a kingpin? No. <laughs> oh my uh, god. Sure. <laughs> no, um, um, but, yeah, I mean, look, LSD is a three letter word that has three very common letters, mm -hmm. you know, and very convenient for crossing words. It just, you know, when I have to build a 21 by 21 square puzzle, LSD just kind of shows up. I don't, you know. But what about Chuck Ecstasy Cheats? Yeah, that one was a little. You really shoehorned that one in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that was uh, in service of a, a very strange theme, Chuck Ecstasy Cheese, you know. I just wanted to have uh, phrases that had, you know, single initials like somewhere in it. And, you know, I was going to, you know, have the single initial spell out stretch. And when I found Chuck E. Cheese, I was like, well, I need something that goes by E just, you know, in real life, just as a single letter. And what goes as E sometimes is ecstasy. So Chuck Ecstasy Cheese. Naturally. <laughs> naturally. naturally. Not like, uh, like, I don't know, eggs or something else. Well, I mean, Straight to ecstasy. Eggs, yeah, yeah. When, when you order eggs, do you say, I want some E? You know? <laughs> Oh, oh, you say you want E? Oh my god, I didn't even know that lingo. Mm. Do you call it E? Are you a fan of E, wow. Evan? Are you a fan I of I didn't that? actually know that. Yeah. Okay, now it makes more sense. Uh, yeah. No, I, I didn't mean, know the yeah, lingo. Ecstasy, yeah, no, I mean, like, ecstasy just has a single letter. Like, people call it E, but, um... Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, it's, yeah, I mean, it's it's funny, like, when people solve my puzzles and they see, you know, various answers and references and, and, and you know, assuming that it has some real big application in my life, like, you know, if I have emu in a puzzle, does that mean I run, you know, an emu farm? I mean, <laughs> right. Yeah, know, emu shows up a they lot. Could. They emu could. has shown up a lot, we've noticed. You could right. take ecstasy with emus. For I all could. <laughs> That's, also, a, that's, another, that's a billion dollar idea, and don't, don't steal it, right? <laughs> we won't, we won't. Uh, Evan, how do you feel about the crowns and the various hats and things in the frog form and the smurf form <laughs> that we've given you? I, I, I am uh, very impressed with them, I gotta say. <laughs> oh! Uh, yeah, no, the, yeah, the drawing of the frog that. is very... The, the drawing of the frog is really funny. Um... You know, the no match or like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing? Good, here? good. Cause I just think those are really fun. So I wanted to I wanted to make sure that you think they're fun too. So I'm glad to hear that. I know you enjoyed the Smurf. We read that in your blog. Yeah, that yeah, was the Smurf is, is fantastic Smurf. as well. <laughs> yeah, I was I mean I think and I think that was the um <clears throat> the first uh, stream that I joined in and watching you guys yes, was uh, somebody that then presented was. a smurf of me. I was like, what is going <laughs> on? What did I just walk, my, walk into? And, uh... <laughs> right, right. It's a good yeah. first impression, I think. Yeah, no, it was, uh, that was very funny, I thought. So. Good, yeah, that was great. I was jealous. <laughs> um, so I have a question. You seem to be a bit of a gamer. What is your favorite video game, Evan? That's a um, that's a tough question because it, it depends probably on the system. Um, oh. Yeah, I mean, well, you like, can give um, a few. I know it's hard to pick one. Right. Um. I mean, I have a special place in my heart for um, uh, Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Um, oh, just cause okay. It's such an epic, just because it's such an epic game, you know. And I played that when I was like 14 years old, I think. That's respectable. Um, respectable. Yeah. Yeah. Respectable. <laughs> yeah. Um, what about a, a more game, maybe like the past uh, decade or five years? 
Well, past, well, the thing is, so my relationship with video games over the past like five to 10 years is that I haven't really done them as much only because like I, I get really worried that if I start playing a game and get really immersed in it, that I'm just gonna not going to do anything else. And you know, I got to... I gotta do my, my, my crosswords each week. So. He has a commitment now. Well, yeah. I mean, I've been yeah. I've been playing Dark Souls um, off and on really for the last year. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, no, I mean, I don't play it all that often. Like, I'll, I'll Wait, play it which like Dark one. Souls? Which one? The first one? Uh, the, the first one, yeah. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it's a really, See, guys, really Evan hard is a and gamer. frustrating game. I told them. Um, I told them you were a gamer. Yeah, um... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I'm trying to think, because, like, I, over the years, I've played games on, like, the N64 and the GameCube and, and the Wii, and um, I played a lot of computer games growing up, too. I mean, probably the game that I sunk the most time into was probably um, the fourth Elder Scrolls game, Oblivion. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, um, we saw your Skyrim clue today. And that's, and, and Skyrim is funny, because, like, my, my wife, uh, got me that as a um as a present i think for our um well actually this was before we were married so i think she she got it as a gift um for w the anniversary of when we began dating she got you that um, yeah she got me skyrim for that better man oh yeah absolutely <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh but the thing was when she got that that was that came out i think in uh on in november of 2011 or you know around that time sure. and i was and i was uh writing this big paper uh, that was gonna get me into grad school at the time and i was oh. just so busy i was so busy doing that so that you know I... what's up i was gonna ask about like your background with school and other jobs and stuff so oh sure you yeah um you went to grad school are you yeah, going but, to <laughs> um went and I got a, a degree, a master's degree in public health. Um, before that, um, that was I, public yeah, I health. That, uh, yeah, I got that from Drexel University um, oh. in two thousand eight, and wow. um, yeah, I worked. Um, I worked for a year um, as an epidemiology project manager for um, for GlaxoSmithKline. Um, it wasn't really, you know, a very fulfilling job for me, though. I mean, I, I do, yeah. you know, especially now because we're living in the pandemic. I Your do talents wonder how lie elsewhere. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I wonder how my life would really be different now if I were still, you know, working in epidemiology while yeah, the right. world is, it is in 2020. But, um, yeah, no, I, I changed right. tracks Maybe a you few years saved, later. you could have saved the world. Yeah. <laughs> I just gotta save it with puzzles. That's that's all I gotta do. Yeah, so, you uh, are. You are. You are saving the world. Yeah, it's much better. It's much better this way. <laughs> so, uh, this was one of the most popular questions: was how did you get into crossword puzzles? Well, um, the short answer is I was bored. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. No, um, so, like I said, I was working at that job at GlaxoSmithKline, and you know, I I would come home, you know, and I. I could solve puzzles like reasonably well. I couldn't solve like every day of the week for like the New York Times crossword because mm -hmm. they they do scaling. You know, I don't know if, um, how many of your viewers or you guys solve the New York Times puzzle, but it's um. That's like you know, the Monday hardest week. one, right? Um, uh, not necessarily. No. Um, no? The, the Monday the Monday New York Times is meant to be you know fairly easy as you know their crosswords go. Mm -hmm. Saturday is meant to be the hardest. Sunday is just the biggest, and it's the same size as mine on most oh. weeks. Um, That's cool. There are there are harder crosswords uh, than that, and harder than mine, frankly. The uh, the set the Newsday Saturday Stumper is the hardest. The um, stumper. What's that? Uh, yeah. Newsday Saturday Stumper. Yeah, I mean it, that is typically the hardest American style crossword you'll solve. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll have I, to try can... one sometime. Maybe we'll have to attempt. Oh, uh, it's funny because this um, this weekend's uh, Saturday Stumper. Stumper was actually one of their easiest, actually, because it was a rerun oh. from many years ago. A um, rerun? Who's but... doing reruns? They should brought you in. You could write a new one. <laughs> Who's rerunning I, crossword never, puzzles? Uh, this this Stumper, is a scandal. But... Yeah. But, this is an outrage. Sorry, we, I got I, Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I kind of got off track there because you were asking me like <laughs> how I got into doing puzzles. That's um, okay. 
Yeah, so, no, um, when I would, you know, when I was working at GlaxoSmithKline, I would, uh, I would come home and, I don't know, just sometime in early 2009, I had this idea of, like, what if I tried to make a crossword? Because I liked solving them, mm-hmm. and I thought it would just be really fun. Like, what if I made one and I could, you know, put that on my bucket list and, like, sell it to the New York Times, and that would be really cool, and I could tell all my friends and family. So and, you, you sell know, it to them? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, uh, you know, for most... For most crossword outlets, it's, you know, freelance constructors write them. So for the New York Times, that's how they do it entirely. Oh, Um, Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are under the misconception that Will Shorts, uh, the editor there, uh, writes all their crosswords, but he doesn't. He just edits them. Um, Oh, um, you have editors? So they change your puzzle? Ecstasy cheese. He he would. If I gave him a Chuck Ecstasy cheese puzzle, he would have to be amused enough by that to uh, to want to run it. But, uh, and he was, I'm assuming. That's how it got in. So do you <laughs> well, do you ultimately want to become he's like an oh, editor? Okay. I see. Um, sorry, what was your question, Leah? Do you ultimately want to become like a crossword editor then? Like, because then you could just like you know, be the lord over all the other puzzles, right? <laughs> um, you know, I'm kind of happy doing what I'm doing. Um, you know, I, I, I like writing the crossword each week. I mean, in, in a way, I sort of yeah, serve I'm as like a de facto, your own I'm sort of like a de facto editor of my own puzzle, just because I, I have a copy editor who um, checks over my clues, fact checks them, you know, proofreads them. And I have test solvers who help me figure out if uh, my clues are working or if they uh, if they're too much of a stretch or something or but oh. ultimately, I have, ultimately i have the final say on what clues go in my puzzle so right um, so i remember I someone was yeah. asking how you decide like what is a fair clue or like fair words to put in your puzzle so it sounds like you have testers to make sure it is basically yeah i mean i try to make sure that all my grids are crossed uh, with the words in the the answers in the grid, I want to make sure they're all crossed fairly. Mm-hmm. In that, even if you don't know an answer or a, or a person or a place or a thing or something that's just not familiar to you, that you can still get it just by the crossing answers. Um, oh, yeah, that was an issue we had when we tried to make our own puzzles. There were not enough crossovers, <laughs> especially at Jason's puzzle, for example. Yeah, those puzzles, I think, the, the one that like Jason one made. crossover. Yeah, the, the, and the one that Jason made is, uh, uh, those are typically called crisscross puzzles because they don't have, like, all interlocking oh answers all over the grid. Jason, you made a crisscross no. puzzle. Do you know that? He's making a really <laughs> mean face. Look at him right now. He's so mad. He's so mad you're saying he made a crisscross. Babe, you made crisscross. I'm not knocking him. I'm not knocking him. Like, <laughs> He's ashamed. He's ashamed that he made crisscross. But honestly, that's, that's a very that's low people... form of crosswording, babe. No, 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 no. Honestly, crisscross puzzles are usually people's first introduction into writing crosswords. So, you know, if that's yeah. his first step, yeah. I applaud him for it. Yeah, he had some clever. Um, you should be ashamed. He had some clever hints of his own. <laughs> no, Actually, no, let no, me I'm bring not, it. I'll bring it Jason here. in here. <laughs> not shaming anybody here, uh, but I so to go back time. to go back to that question that you had, like how did I get into it? I mean, uh, first, you know, crosswords that I wrote back in 2009. I um, I mean, they were they were pretty terrible as far as like you know for submissions to, like the New York Times. Um, I have in the past posted on Twitter like the very first crossword grid that I made. I'd have to find it. Oh, you know, okay. Uh, I can like when I find it. I can I can pull it up in the chat somewhere. That would be just fun take a, to see. a few minutes, but um. Well, Evan versus Donkey incoming. Whoa, well, guys, don't fight, don't fight. I know Evan is calling your puzzles crisscrosses, Crossword but battle. there's no need to fight. We're all friends <laughs> no, here. You know what else is crisscross? Applesauce. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Wow. Everybody likes applesauce. Crisscross applesauce. Dang. Right. That's like a good crossword clue. That is good. That's like a meta puzzle. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Sid Scred. Oh, Sid just linked your first puzzle, Evan. Okay, cool. I believe. Thanks. Yeah, I just, I just found it myself. I'm right. saving Thanks. this. Thank you, Thanks, Sid. Sid. Thank you. 
Awesome. I'm and Sid, you know, as you guys this. know, uh, you guys solved one of his puzzles uh, like a month ago or so from his website. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a he's a very good constructor. Um, he's uh, come onto the scene in the last year, but oh, um, you're called last constructors. Year that, that's what you call yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Are, are I think there someone? Right? What's up? Are there like leaderboards? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are well i mean not there there are leaderboards for certain like contest crossword websites uh like matt gaffney is another crossword constructor right. who runs there is his own, him, he he runs his own independent crossword puzzle website called matt gaffney's weekly crossword contest and mm. you know for everybody who submits a correct answer to it you get put on the leaderboard um cool but there's no like rankings like of like crossword puzzle constructor rankings. You can't like be like oh, I'm a master I... constructor. No, <laughs> nothing like that. Oh. That would be incredible. I, I'm, I'm very glad that there's uh, I'm very glad there's <laughs> nothing like that because you know like crossword constructors. It would be and, cool. Like, you could like form like a constructors guild and have rankings. Yeah, you'd be a grandmaster. <laughs> no, I mean it's. It would get it would get really cutthroat if we did that, and like everybody oh, in the crossword community. Every is, man for himself. Yeah, and I I know I'm saying that to like a group of gamers who love to you know <laughs> compete the against each other. The Legion of Gamers. <laughs> yes, we loved when you right. called us the Legion of Gamers, Evan. <laughs> we really loved that. <laughs> okay, yeah. I have a, a very important question that was highly uploaded on the Reddit. What is your Taco Bell order, Evan? That's important. Oh, that's really, a big one. Uh, I really hope you're not vegan. I am not vegan, but yeah. it's been a long time since I've eaten at Taco Bell. So yes, high it's... five, Evan. No Taco oh, Bell. Oh, no. this is getting this is getting <laughs> very controversial here. Yep. Yeah, that's not good. You need to, after this interview, I need you to treat yourself, man. He <laughs> does. He has Christmas cookies. He got a it... Crunchwrap Supreme. You know. <laughs> Just some Baja Blast in you, man. Like, this is important. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to remember, like, when the last time I ate at one was probably, like, more than five years ago. And I couldn't have told you what I ordered <laughs> when I did. Um, it probably Evan was, is very yeah, reasonable. I, I'm, I'm very boring when it comes to, like, my Taco Bell orders. I probably get, like, you know, I don't know, like a chicken <laughs> or beef burrito or something. But <laughs> that's. Hey, man. At least it's not, like, one taco. <laughs> That'd be a little sad. I just that get, would like, probably be my <laughs> order if I had to get something there. One taco. I just get one single chip and dip it, and and then I leave. <laughs> <laughs> one chip. All right. You heard it here. Evan's order is one chip. And then he leaves. He walks. Oh, one chip. He's out. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is a great question. What's your opinion of other popular newspaper games like the jumble or the word searches? Yeah, I mean, I, I think if, if solvers enjoy doing other word games, other kind no, of puzzles no, in the paper. No, no, no. What's, um, your, what's your real opinion? Do you like them? Do you hate them? <laughs> <giving my room. laughs> well, listen, I mean, like, I, I personally like to solve crosswords. You know, I, I don't. For myself, he thinks really solve Sudoku, you know, or, or Jumbo, oh, you or things like that. I'm, I'm but, a big uh, Sudoku fan personally, so that hits home for me. Yeah, no, that's a little, sad. and that's totally cool. Like I, I don't, you know, however people want to, you know, get their puzzle kick. That's 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 cool with me. Like you know, I I I'm but sort of very live and let live in that way. So you're saying it's cool what they like, yeah. but I like crosswords the best. Right. And that's that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I, mean, I like uh, the jumbo, but yeah, I, I think crossword say, is uh, more Fluffy, fun. Fluffy, if you like Sudoku, if you like Sudoku, Fluffy, that um, you should check out a, a YouTube video about the Miracle Sudoku if you haven't seen it. It's um, it's an amazing like video. It's like 25 minutes, I think, but it's one of the like, best Sudoku solvers in the world. Like one of the very fastest. Hmm. Who Whoa. solved this completely crazy Sudoku that you'd think like there's no way you can solve this? And like I wouldn't think that watching a, vi a video about Sudoku would be like all that exciting just for myself, but it really is. Like I would, I would highly yeah. recommend watching it. I'm writing I this will. down. I will. That's I'm a good recommendation. Also, I don't think Fluffy likes Sudokus. 
No, I do. I do it at work Flippy, all the time. You just like guns and shooting. I can show you the app. I have like over a hundred <laughs> expert level crossword uh, or right. expert level Sudoku's done. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, well, I've the written this down. The app, Miracle Sudoku. Like insane. I only have one of those completed. That's like impossible <laughs> shit. Wow. Oh, Evan, do you play Picross puzzles? I was just doing Picross puzzles the other day. I have to confess, I don't think I know what that is, unless it goes by another name. <gasps> wow! Um, what no, what is a pig cross cool. puzzle? Um, it was, it's kind of similar to Sudoku, but like you're filling in boxes, like marking them black, and then like when you're done, they make a picture, kind of like a little pixel oh, art picture. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I've seen those before. I think the the name I've been used to hearing is uh, Paint by Numbers. Um, Paint by number? Numbers? No! That's, that's like a that's little. The... Well, all right. <laughs> that's that's just the, uh, the the name of the game that uh, a friend of mine. Uh, that's what she called it. But it's it's where oh, you have like okay. the numbers on the side, and that tells you like how many uh -huh. boxes to fill in. Right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that is it. Yeah, yeah. For a puzzle collection that I um, edited uh, over the last summer, yeah, uh, one of my friends and test solvers put that uh, made a paint by numbers or pick cross puzzle uh, for it. So. Oh, cool. I've been playing those. I like them. But I like crosswords best. Yeah. Also, do you want to make a tier list of uh, newspaper puzzles, Evan? Uh, make a what list? Tier list? A tier list! <laughs> do you want to make, like, a puzzle tier list? Um, like, have, uh, you well, seen, have you seen a tier list I've before? Never, I don't know what the term tier list is, but... Um, you don't? But just, like, a list of... I don't think so. Oh, well, here, I'll make one really quickly while we talk, and then we can do it. Um, but for now, I will ask you, do you get any hate mail or fan mail in your puzzles? Do you have any haters? <laughs> I, I have gotten, I have gotten both. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I mean, when you write a puzzle for a big publication that gets circulated to a lot of people i mean uh -huh. yeah i mean some people are not everybody's going to like it and it happens but you kind of you know i can't worry about that too much because i got a job to do and i and i'm also confident enough in my skill as a crossword constructor that i can still make a puzzle that i think people will enjoy so i don't worry too much if uh you know so people would get like angry it, that them, they so. couldn't solve it or something and then they would like rage at you or yeah, I mean, I, I've, like, in the past, I remember once getting uh, an email from somebody who, who said that like, I'm convinced that if I ever get Alzheimer's, it's because, you know, of one of your puzzles. And it's like, oh, okay. Oh, oh my god! What? <laughs> Alzheimer's from your puzzle? Wow. That's so I mean, messed like, up. It, yeah. As I recall, Crosswords that conversation actually brain. turned out well, believe it or not. Like, because, like, we actually had, like, a decent email exchange. Like, you know, it's like, if you get stuck on a puzzle, like it's okay to put it down and come back to it, and then you know yeah. maybe you know the right answer will come later. But it's you know it it's it was one that was one person who sent me you know an upset email several yeah. years ago. I think it's it's they were it's probably okay, just having a know. tough day. What's up? They were probably just having a tough day. Yeah, I mean, and it's like, and I understand, like, I've solved puzzles or tried to solve puzzles that were very, very hard, and I got stuck, and I got frustrated, and I probably, you know, wanted to shake my fist at the constructor, yeah. too, so, like, I, I get it, you know? Yeah, they were shaking their fist to They you. bring out the emotion. They were like, you're giving me Alzheimer's, Evan. But, <laughs> yeah, but I have, <laughs> I would say more, Still, more so, I get, I get appreciative, I would say more so I get appreciative notes. Yeah, I would notes think so, I, do, I would think so. And I get angry ones, yeah, because, like, I mean, I, uh, I think it was sometime in the last year, um, I got this incredibly heartwarming message from somebody who, um, who told me that they had suffered a stroke, and Aww. they were solving my puzzles to like help them recover vocabulary and, and things they'd forgotten. And I thought that, you know, that's why I, I love doing this, you know, because, mm -hmm. because I think crosswords can mean a lot to people. Um, just, you know, not just like for the things they know, but the things that are important to them and things they remember. And maybe the puzzle reminds them of something pleasant, you know, in their past. And yeah. um, that's why I love to do it. Well, we're all big uh, fans. This is kind of like the unofficial Evan fan club, so I expect you'll be getting more fan mail soon. <laughs> yeah, well, that's certainly cool. Um, yeah. Um, 
I see, there's some no, fan mail no. in the chat right now. I see Jillian says, Evan is so cool, in all caps. I have, I have a very important question now. Oh, go ahead. So, yeah. Some of your comments, well, I'd say all of the, the puzzle comments. There's a guy with a hurricane picture named I'm Back. Yeah. You know that guy? We're kind of scared or of him. Or is he just your biggest fan? <laughs> Um, I, I do not know uh, that uh, that solver personally. Um, I'm appreciative uh, that that they write comments for me and that they like my puzzles, so that's that's cool. But um, uh, no, I, so I don't know that person no, personally. He has no inside information about the uh, hurricane photo. <laughs> We're just yeah, curious because there's a photo of a that. hurricane every week, and it says I'm back. <laughs> we always laugh. Yeah. yeah. So no, might be no one insight on that. Or something. Oh, Evan. Like a, this is a like question that came up. Posting on the fly or something. <laughs> Wait, that's your family member? No, I was joking. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, we were wondering just today, what is the deal with all of the ape men? <laughs> Two weeks in a row, we got ape men. Well, you know, sort of like, you know, the LSD answer. I got to keep my ape men handlers happy. So, uh, <laughs> um, ape men handlers now? Oh yeah, those are a thing. Didn't Evan you know? Um, very mysterious. Yeah, it, it, it surprised me that both weeks in a row that I had ape men, you know, it's just, yeah. it's just kind of how it worked out. You know, again, it's a short answer that I don't, I don't go into a puzzle thinking, huh, how can I get ape men in here? I you mean, at least most of the time I don't, unless Aww. I needed it, unless I needed it for like a meta answer in some way, but, but no, mm. that's just, it's just luck of the draw, really how that worked out. That was, you know, it was a corner that I had a rebus square, the, the squashed elf. Um, so I needed right. to, uh, yeah, is that there. legal what you did this week, putting three letters in one square? Is that no. kosher crossword? I looked up is, it, is, it, is it legal? Like, or, <laughs> yeah. somebody come busting down my door? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, it's called a rebus puzzle, what you just solved, where you fit multiple letters into a single square. Uh -huh. It's been around for a, a, a pretty long time. I don't know when the very first rebus puzzle was published. Um, but I remember when I had first solved one, maybe, I don't know, 13, 14 years ago, I think, um, it had like the word heart, uh, squashed into a, a single oh, square. And I think five it was letters Valentine's in one Day. square? Wow. Yeah, I think it was a Valentine's Day puzzle for the New York Times, if I remember right. But, oh, wow. um, so how do you solve that I on paper? the first time I came across it, you just write all the letters into the box. <laughs> wow. Just as you did on, or you could draw a heart. Um, I guess. That would work. Oh yeah, I could draw elf, a little heart. Oh, think, that'd be so cute. And actually, I think, th um, yeah, drawing the heart actually is probably the reason why. Well, I don't know, not the heart puzzle specifically, but I think that's actually the reason why it's called Rebus Puzzles because I think it's based on the old game show Concentration, where if you had a certain picture in the in the phrase that they were trying to get you to figure out like you know if you drew like a buzzing b that was like a signal for the letter b and so i think the idea was like you know it's kind of you could draw like you a picture draw a to symbol the word. Of, yeah yeah i think that's kind of how the the name came about but um yeah wait, I, I just remember the very first wait, time wait what does that have to do with rebus how did rebus well i think rebus was like the term used on like concentration I think a long time ago. I'm I'm not you oh, know okay. the historian That's of that show, but um, okay. but I think that I just remember hearing that there was a connection to the term rebus with that show, and it just kind of got picked up in crosswords right. as well. Right. Um, cool. Yeah, and I just remember like you know when the first time I solved that that rebus puzzle, I was like, wow, crosswords can do that. You can put you know multiple letters in a square, kind of like you did in this puzzle. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's legal, and I think it's fun to do it. So. The very first crossword that I ever tried selling to the New York Times was a Rebus puzzle, and it was not very good. If you saw the uh, the grid that Sid posted earlier, but um, oh, I haven't looked at it yet. We'll probably try to solve it or something, but I have it saved on my. I have it saved. I don't so even I think it has a full set of clues, so you probably can't solve it. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> um, 
I'd have to find it. It's like, you know, in some old hard drive somewhere, but, um... Oh, well, that's all right. We'll still look at it anyway. Yeah. So, um, I guess this is kind of related. Someone was asking, what advice would you give to people who struggle with solving the puzzles? That's a very good question. Um, so, uh, the first thing I would say, the simplest answer is that you have to solve a lot of puzzles. And I know that's not a quick fix, but really, how do you get better at anything is you, you practice. Um, and I would also say solve a lot of different puzzles. You know, don't just solve mine. I would actually highly encourage you to solve. Oh, other we people's only solve yours. And that's you know, and that's <laughs> that's cool. Like you know, I mean, not well. No, I appreciate that you know, that you solve my puzzles and enjoy them. It's just like what I would say if you really want to get better at doing them. If you solve a lot of different people's crosswords, you get mm -hmm. used to like cluing conventions and tricks and themes that uh, show up in a lot of them. Well, see, we call them um, Evanisms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very flattered by that. Yeah. We know um, lots of Evanisms. Yeah, I mean, there's, um, <laughs> and there's a lot of like free crosswords that you can do, like in addition to mine that I would, uh, I could recommend. Um, you know, I, I, I'm a little afraid to list them out now only because I'm worried I'll leave some out uh, by mistake. Um, so I could probably like email them to you, Leah, or, or someone. And, and oh. we're actually a good, I can just actually give you a good resource here. Um, okay. There's a, uh, a spreadsheet by uh, my friend Matt Gritzmacher that lists a, a ton of puzzles that you can do. They're listed either as like daily or weekly you know sometimes less frequently than that maybe like monthly um and some of them are subscription others are not um but all of them have come very highly recommended as just different puzzles is you can do the, is that um, the link that what Sid just put in i uh, let's see crossword yeah i think so crossword okay. links that's upsec.com and so i think you can end for you, training yeah um so i i would check that out um and i actually have a um another uh tip about how one gets better at puzzles um oh, okay. it's a bit it might be a bit of a controversial take among your viewers are uh, you ready uh, controversial oh controversial crossword take incoming <clears throat> what do you got i and other crossword constructors most other crossword constructors that i know do not consider it cheating if you look up an answer while you're solving <sighs> God. No, there's no way. No there's Googling, no way. Evan. No yep. Oh, they're going crazy. Yep, they're going crazy, going crazy now. That is cheating. Wait, how's it not cheating? <laughs> so, look, I understand the impulse. Can I look up all I the answers the and impulse. it still won't be cheating? Flop, no. <laughs> you can I would look them up. So, I would not recommend just, like, opening up the puzzle and immediately revealing all answers. Like, no, don't do that. Give it some <laughs> That won't you know, help you get better. Try, dude. <laughs> well, no, but see, here's the thing. Like, imagine, imagine, you know, you're not solving on Twitch with, you know, 500, 600, however many other hundred people. Let's say it's just yeah, you Yeah, but and Jason let's be real. Down. I come up with most of the answers. Yeah. I'm the real brain well, of the operation. <laughs> <laughs> just, like imagine it was just you know Googling. the two of you two. If it were just you two sitting down at the the breakfast table solving a crossword, mm -hmm. you know it might be a really tough. Oh, that puzzle. would only take us stuck. like two minutes if we did you, that. You might get stuck, right? And sure, you could leave a clue and come back to it. You could put the whole puzzle down and come back to it, and mm -hmm. so, you know maybe the right answers will come to you later, and that does happen. Well, I wouldn't or, start you know, screaming. <laughs> the thing is, you could, be sending you know, if you're still really struggling, you could look up, you know, one answer, maybe two. It might help you unlock, you know, a, a big piece of the puzzle that you couldn't do before. And what I really want to emphasize is that you should be solving the puzzle in a way that makes most sense and, mo and is most fun for you. Uh, um, Evan just wants everyone to have fun. Oh, well, having fun? Evan's a big I mean, proponent of fun. Evan, Evan, you got to start... 
these gamers don't like to have fun. They like well, to get angry. Well, J Jason, yeah. that's, you know, that's, Good that's point. an impulse that I totally get that like, you don't want to look up answers because it's like, you know, when you're playing a video game, you don't want to use a cheat code. To I don't want to have game. fun. I, I mean, like, I get that because I played a lot of games growing up myself. So that's, and you know, for myself personally, like I don't, you know, I'm, I'm confident enough as a solver that I don't feel that I have to use uh, hints or, you know, I don't have to do that, but I'm not going to tell somebody who's less experienced or, you know, doesn't have as, you know, much, doesn't have as much experience solving Some puzzles. Like, oh no, that's man, wrong. Perhaps. Like you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't look up hints. Like I'm not going to shame go. it. No. Yeah, <laughs> we won't shame noob. Googlers. Well, I will, I will shame Googlers, but Evan wouldn't shame Googlers. Actually, that's well, very... let me, I'm just telling you, I'm going to tell you. So, um, the old, uh, New York Times crossword editor Will Wang, um, who retired from it in the 1970s, um, he wrote uh, an essay that kind of spelled out exactly what I just said. Um, and I actually have it pulled up right here. I'm going to read two sentences from it. He said, wow. "Don't." He said, "Don't be conscience stricken if you use dictionaries, atlases, and such in doing a puzzle. It's your puzzle, and you can do it any way you please." And that's kind of that's, that's kind of a mantra it. among crossword constructors that you know you should solve it really any way you want you know if it's most if it would be most fun for you not to use you know hints or something that's that's totally fine you know but for someone else who may need a leg up that's also fine like I'm not gonna shame anybody you know for needing hints if they need them so um, I'm gonna Google next week now. No, Fluffy! <laughs> Please stop Google. Evan, you're Thanks talking Fluffy that. into Googling! Thanks for the green light, Evan. <laughs> oh. You're telling the whole chat they can just Google now, Evan. Oh, no. We don't want Google because we're doing a fun live stream, and if we Google, it'll be over in 30 we're minutes. We're already cheating. We're already using Yeah, we're already cheating to the people. maximum. Yeah, this only goes for the people solving by themselves and whatever. They can have fun solving I mean, however like, they want. But here we I mean, for, like, strictly forbid Googlers. Yeah, I mean, you you have, you know, those those buttons above in the puzzle that said, like, reveal answer or check answer. I mean, that's yeah. what they're there for. Like, you know, and yeah, like, what, yeah. am I, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to say, oh, no, excuse me, that's a foul. You can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we want you to do that. We want you to come and slap everyone's wrists who try to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> And like, and like I said, you know, most crossword constructors that I know will tell you the same thing that I just did. Like, you know, that's yeah, the kind of, sense. you know. I agree in general. Um, so, yeah. yeah. And and I, and also for meta puzzles, like there are some times where you might need to use Google to solve a meta because it's, you know, a really good yes, resource. Yes, that meta and, puzzle was know, very hard, the sandwich one. Yeah, we that one was a very a difficult one. and. And in retrospect, I, you know, regret that I didn't put in another hint about like, you know, looking for four letter words or something, you know, but, um, oh, yeah, that you know, because live and learn. So. That is how you beat Dark Souls too. You just look up how to get the infinite damage sword. <laughs> and then do that. Still looking for that sword. <laughs> um... I Someone... did pick up a really cool sword in Dark Souls, but it's, uh, you know, I had to then spend a long time just, like, building my character up to be strong enough just to use it. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah that's what happened to our friend recently. He was trying to use the sword, but even when he got the thing, he couldn't start using it. Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, someone was wondering, is there a particular puzzle that you're most proud of? Your best puzzle uh, ever. Dark Ecstasy Cheese. <laughs> I'll answer for him. No. <laughs> I think I think that was uh, Chuck E. Cheese's favorite puzzle, but no, uh, I don't. Um, I, I I've written so many of them. I don't, I don't know if I've like you know ever really thought like which one I would call how my many, favorite. I mean, there was how many um, have you written? The, so I have written for the post now more than 260 oh crosswords. Oh my god! Yeah. Whoa. I do it you know, once a week. Every you know, I've just celebrated my five-year anniversary with it. So wow. yeah, I mean, I, um, god. I to think about that. Um, yeah, um, I'm trying to think. There was 
I did a Christmas puzzle two years ago, which, I mean, if you don't mind if I spoil like what the trick was, you know, I, I'm happy to talk about that one. Was... Two years ago, I guess What's you that? can spoil. Yeah, go ahead, go spoil. Yeah, so it was a puzzle um, where, and I'll try to do it like in a way that's not too like opaque or something, but there were four answers in the puzzle that hinted at what was a special letter. So like one of them was like treasure map, um, another was golden arches, another was Hester Prynne, um, book character, and the fourth one was Clark Kent. And yeah. each of them hinted at, you know, a special letter you know, in the puzzle somewhere, right? And this, by the way, was a puzzle called White Christmas. And what you had to figure out, well, first of all, the, you know, the letters that are associated with those four phrases um, are X, M, A, and S. Like X is associated with uh, uh, the treasure map, M with golden arches, uh, A with Hester Prynne because of the scarlet letter, and wait, S, you know, from Superman. One? McDonald's. Uh, McDonald's. McDonald's. Like, yeah, it, it's a big M. It's the Golden Arches, right? Uh... Um, but that's, there was more to it. There were clues in the puzzle just kind of scattered throughout that said white Christmas piece, literally. And what you had to figure out, and there was a, a, a revealer clue for this that said, um, you know, like the squares, you know, that make up this puzzle's special letters, I think was the clue. And that answer was blank. What you had to do when you saw those white Christmas piece um, clues, or you saw those answers, is you left every single square in those answers blank. And so the, the special letters would be spelled out in blank letters. You had to, like, skip over some squares to spell the oh right words. Evan's always these breaking were the big, rules. These were big white letters in the grid that spelled Xmas, so white christmas um wow, wow. so like it, would... it was like pixel like it was like x like yeah x how spelled big in was big the white, how big was the squares. grid it was the same size as a normal grid it's just um wow. it looks like when you open up the puzzle it looked like this big wide open grid like how can you possibly oh fill gosh. that it's like well the way i filled it was i sort of you know cheated i just kind of skipped over some squares I get and it. white you had christmas to out the, the white christmas there was white squares that said xmas oh my god exactly. yeah oh that was, my god I was very happy with that puzzle, um, just because I thought it was a neat trick. I, I'm that not the first person trick. who's ever used a blank square trick in a crossword, but yeah, it's um, kind of similar to a pick cross. I mean, maybe I guess you know people who do like you know pick cross puzzles may you know have uh, yeah, it may have uh, gotten onto the theme a bit earlier. I don't know, right. but um, right. yeah, that's that was one I was pretty happy about. Um, you know, but th that was one with a very difficult trick. Sometimes even puzzles that have like a very simple kind of theme, like very basic, like I, I think those can be really fun and, and neat as well. I mean, I, I wrote a puzzle a few years ago um, that just repeated um, certain syllables and like smashed up phrases that sounded kind of wacky. So I think one of my clues was uh, wild lobster relative and <laughs> uh, the, the answer was cray cray crayfish. Oh my um, God, wow. you put cray cray crayfish in a puzzle? Yeah, I did. <laughs> cray cray crayfish? That's so yeah. funny. That's amazing. <laughs> That's a good one. That's so funny. I wish we did that one. Yeah, that one was a thing from 2018, so. Um, Aww. Um, we got on the Evan train too late. We missed cray cray crayfish. <laughs> It might show up in a book. In That's a kind of day. like that when you did Guarantee Eels. Yeah. <laughs> that was a really good one as well. That was, yeah, that was the uh, four of a kind one. We, I were, think. Very, we um, were very tickled by that. All right. Yeah. That's because I know you guys have been, uh, you know, <laughs> hitting me on uh, Elmer Fudd D Day a lot. So uh... <laughs> I love the answer. I love it so much. And everyone else was like, that's not the answer. Why is it Elmer Fudd D Day? Yeah, they just don't get it. They just don't get it, Evan. But... I get it. I love that. <laughs> It's, I mean, yeah, when you look at that phrase, that is a total, just by itself, that is a total nonsense, ridiculous, absurd phrase. Sure. I mean, but I did That's it in service of it. the theme, which was I wanted four of the same letter in a row. Yeah. And the four letters in a row spelled out tetrads, which Elver is a fancy for word for groups of four. So. <laughs> um, Great. You've made some, some banger puzzles, Evan. <laughs> thank you. Um, 
let's see. We have a kind of a strange off-color question that just came up today. Uh -oh. Would you get a crossword puzzle tattoo? Some sort of tattoo related to <laughs> crossword puzzles in some way. So I don't have any ink uh, on me, right? You know, but um, I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm not a ma I don't imagine I will only because, well, for a few reasons. One, I'm very squeamish around needles. Um, is one thing. Oh. Um, yeah. Um, you know, but that's that's one reason. The other thing is that you know, if it's a if it's a tattoo that doesn't, you know, if it if it might not look very good in 20 years or something. Like I, I worry about like having it like now this is on me forever, unless I want to get like, yeah, the maybe if it's like removed. a grid, it will like get all like saggy and like, well, what you could do the lines you could will get, like get off. <laughs> you could get the image of you as a Smurf on your arm. <laughs> there you go. And that could just be like a reminiscent piece of your time as a cross. Yeah. 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 There's right. a ticket. <laughs> well, that's kind of what um, I expected. That's what I thought. But I thought maybe you would shock us and say, I already have a crossword tattoo. <laughs> I actually have a sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine, though, if I had to, like, explain to everybody, like, you know, who didn't know, like, that it was me as a Smurf <laughs> as a tattoo, and yeah. I have to like, go up and work with them and show them that. That's like, true. Well, this is me as a Smurf. Uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty good, right? <laughs> oh, can you tell the story again? You told it kind of in the chat a little bit about like the picture with the pencil, the photo with the pencil <laughs> that I have on yeah, the screen right um, now. Yeah, so when I was um, first appointed to be the um, crossword instructor for the, for the Post magazine, um, the Post sent a photographer uh, to my apartment and um, just took a lot of photos. Um, you know, some just kind of regular me smiling, whatever, and others with this me, you know, me in that pencil pose. So it was his idea and of the I've pencil seen... or yours? Well, the, the thing is, I've seen other photos of my predecessor, Merle Regal. Um, oh. who, I mean, he was, uh, the, he was the constructor of the Washington Post puzzle and in other outlets uh, before me. And mm -hmm. I've seen pictures of him, like, uh, kind of posed in the same way, like holding a pencil, um, yeah. kind of outward like that yeah. and i think that's just kind of a style that the photographer kind of liked as just like a stylistic sort of I pose like it too. Um, I love it. you know um, oh but evan really wouldn't funny. it be funny if you did one where you had the pencil but it was like a little girly pencil like this like <laughs> like with like sure. some kind of little like care bear or something on it <laughs> maybe you could get them no, to I'm, retake I'm very it particular I'm, I'm very particular about my pencil. I, I only solve okay. um, print puzzles. Like, I print them that? out from, like, a PDF, and I solve it in pencil, so... Like, know. number two, or do you have, like, <laughs> maybe, like, a softer graphite tip? It's, um... Let me pull it right here. It's a, um... Yeah, number two paper made sharp writer mechanical pencil. Ooh, I knew it was good. a mechanical that's, pencil. That's, I was gonna say, I know that exact pencil you're holding. That was a good release. Yeah, pencil connoisseur. Yeah, Crossword, crossword folks are, you know, people who are hardcore into doing puzzles all the time are very particular about their pencils. You know, um, when you go, if you go to a crossword tournament, like people, you know, sort of sometimes ask you, like, you know, what pencil do you use? And like, you know, <laughs> That's great. Uh, but, uh, what if someone uses pen? Um, do you, how do you feel about people who use pen in the crossword? I mean, whatever is your weapon of choice, that's that's fine. Um, Come on, call them I mean, filthy animals or something. <laughs> no, I can't do that. <laughs> Evan is too diplomatic. Well, you know, if, you're solving, <laughs> if you're if you're solving like one of my puzzles, like in the actual print magazine, I mean, the pencil unfortunately doesn't work. I think as well on that oh. kind of glossy sort of paper. True. Yeah. Um, True. But. You know, so I mean, in that case, you probably have to use a pen. But for me, like, I like to print out puzzles and solve them with the pencil. So um, it, it was really funny because I remember watching uh, one of your earliest streams of my puzzles, and I don't remember who it was. It may have been Jason. It might have been Fluffy. It might have been Ben or someone else. It's like you know, saw that picture of me and just kind of like immediately just went like, um, it's like, doesn't he just look really smug with that pencil? It's like, it, 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 yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> we thought it was so children. funny. And it just, I, I heard that and I just started cracking up because like if I were in your shoes and I saw that picture, you know, of a guy kind of holding that pencil sort of, sort of smarmily like that, like, yeah, I probably would do that too. <laughs> no. <laughs> then, <man. laughs> Look how smuggy is that person. That was probably Ben. Yeah, that is kind of chaotic. I remember, that. I remember that comment. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> like, Don't be mean, he's in the chat. And he's like, yeah. you look smug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it's, but it, it's, it's fine. I mean, like, um, you know, I, I, I don't tend to think I'm very well, fan of the I am a big but, fan know, so. of the pencil pose. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in combination with the crown here. That's the iconic yeah. crossword constructor look. Uh, let's I don't see think what's... I've actually worn a crown since I went to medieval times all those years ago. So. Oh, you went to medieval times? And you wore a crown? Wait, were you the uh, king of medieval times? We were all the king when we went to medieval times. Uh... Did you ever get one of those giant turkey legs? Probably. I think I was like 12 or something when I left. Heaven with turkey to it, but... leg. Wow. Those were classic. <laughs> that's, that's hey this cool. is like a place it's like an event or something yeah it's like an old thing where they re they reenact times? like the jousting and stuff oh, like that I thought Evan was saying like he got sucked into like a time portal <laughs> well, he could have been, uh, I didn't confirm that Evan went into a time portal and was in medieval times and he was the and king and he came back to the present day somehow. he would have been the king in medieval times yeah, six days out of seven, I live in the Dark Souls universe, and, uh, and then I come back in reality. And <laughs> oh my gosh. Evan, look what I got for you on my stream. <laughs> yeah, he's in the evil side. All right. That's I'm gonna solve, yeah, I'm going to solve all my puzzles now in turkey leg. <laughs> 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 I couldn't make it fit very well. Your hand is kind of coming out of a strange angle. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's the best we can do. The king with his turkey leg. Um, so let's see. Someone had wanted to know what, what are your greatest inspirations, if you have any. Um, just as a puzzle writer or just in general? I think related I think to crossroads. Um... <laughs> My dad, probably, I, I, I would say for sure, because, I mean, he um, he solved puzzles, you know, for a long time. He would solve the New York Times crossword every day. Um, oh, wow. When I was, and he still does, or, or on most days, I think he does. He solves my puzzles on Sundays, too. But, oh, uh, <laughs> your dad solves your puzzles. He's the hurricane guy. That's so He's sweet. He's the hurricane guy. <laughs> um, actually, my mom just started solving puzzles too, which I'm very thrilled about. But, Aww, uh, <laughs> sweet. That's um, sweet. Crossword family. Yeah, no, I mean, well, the thing, so like my my dad would solve them, um, and when I was younger, my brothers and I would kind of like help out on like answers every now and then. Like before I I could solve them on my own, I would just kind of try to get it every an answer here and there. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I just remember um, back in 2009 when I was. Uh, uh, well, you know, when I was you know, working at that GlaxoSmith time, uh, GlaxoSmith Klein job, um, mm -hmm. I would come home and I tried to write a puzzle for the first time. I remember calling my parents saying like, you know, I just wrote a crossword and there, and my, <laughs> my mother, you know, just kind of, <laughs> uh, probably gave me some side eye through the phone. <laughs> if you can picture that, just like we did what now, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. They weren't supportive but, yeah. of your crossword puzzle? No they, they, no, they were. It's just that it was not, like, the thing they expected me to say. That's, right, like, something yeah. I just tried to do. <laughs> but, um, um, yeah, no, they um, – but it was funny because back then, like, I, you know, uh, thought it would be fun to try. And, 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 you know, that first puzzle was not very good, but I – Kept, I tried again, and then I tried again, and I just kept doing it, and I just kind of yes. caught the bug of, like, wanting to write Ooh, a crossword, like a crossword, and I, like, bug. really badly just wanted to make one that was very good that could be published somewhere, um, mm -hmm. you know, but... Uh, I think you accomplished yeah. your goal. Your puzzles are very good. Oh, thank you. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, so my dad uh, is definitely big on my list for, you know, puzzle inspirations. Uh, sweet. Among crossword constructors, I mean, there are uh, there's so many uh, who have inspired me and have done oh. such great work that, you know, whose work continues to inspire me all the time. Um, I would be really afraid to, you know, kind of like before, and like I was afraid about listing out like specific puzzles because I would be worried about leaving someone out or leaving out a specific constructor. Um, I guess if I had to name one uh, crosser constructor uh, would be Patrick Berry. Um, How do you spell that? I'm writing it down. Um, it's his first name is Patrick. Um, his last name is Berry, like you know the fruit B E R R Y. Okay, with E. Um, and he's uh, one of the most uh, have uh, he's one of the most respected, um, renowned crossword constructors out there. Just because I mean, he's been in it, the game for a long time. Um, he's the but godfather he's just, of crossword he's, puzzles. He, yeah, I mean, he's he's invented different puzzle forms, a lot of different variety puzzles. Oh. All of his puzzles are like squeaky clean. Like whenever you solve them, there's like never any like sort of junk answers. Um, you know. There's, they're just, they're really great. What's a junk and, you know, answer? I, I, I've, I'm not I've familiar often just, with like, a junk answer. I mean, he's, he's one of my just, you know, biggest inspirations just because he's, you know, um, I, I remember solving a six puzzle suite that he wrote for the New York Times, um, which was this, you know, really intricate um, meta puzzle that you had to solve at the end of the week. And uh, like when I solved it, I, my jaw just like hit the floor. Like, like how did you do that? <laughs> like, I, I just remember saying like, I want to be able to write a puzzle that's like that, you know, so. Wow. So what, wait, what is a junk answer? Um, yeah, I mean, there's, you know, people have different definitions of like kind of answers they don't like. <laughs> Like a cop out kind I, of thing. I do not consider eight men a junk answer. I'm <laughs> well, eight men is an amazing sorry, answer. Sorry, sorry. That's the opposite. <laughs> eight men is an amazing answer. Well, like you know, so you know, there are certain answers that pop up again in crosswords, like all the time. That oh, you know, okay. that don't really show up anywhere except crosswords. Mm -hmm. Like the the one that that frustrates me the, the one most. Last I think. week, remember that one last yeah. week. When Which we were one? doing it, and you Googled it, you were like, that's not in the Crossword database. Oh. <laughs> that oh, was a junk oh, answer. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, I mean, that's not a word I've ever heard of. It did not show up in the database that I looked at. I don't remember. Yeah. It was like an old word for, like, an English canoe Battelle, or something. Battelle, oh. Battelle. Yeah. So put in um, the chat, it was Battelle. I mean, so, like, for example, like, there's, um... A lot of times crosswords will put in a word like N-L-E-R, N-L -E -R, so which is short, I guess, for National Leaguer in baseball. Oh my God, come and on. That, yeah, well, exactly. That's my reaction too, because like I've watched baseball for a while, you know, National for League. probably more than, for more than like 25 years. I read ESPN.com like all the time. You know, oh, I've, you're a sports I've fan? Never, I've, I've never like seen like NL or written like in that space. So it's just, it's, it's something that like, it just doesn't have any application outside of the puzzle, but because it has four very useful letters, mm -hmm. you know, constructors often use it as kind of like a crutch. So I, I just, yeah. I, that's, I that's, that's like a word that I just, you know, avoid because like it, it it's not, to me, it's generally not very fun to figure out. Like, um, yeah, I would have been mad I if I saw that in a puzzle. I will, I would say I would be mad if that was in the puzzle. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, I'm sure there are books that have used it before, but, you know, it's just, I, I don't, you know, that, that's like an answer I, I don't really like to, to use. I mean, it's not like an offensive word or anything, and that's obviously much worse. Like, oh. you don't want to have answers that are going to, you know, make people angry. You know, there but, have been offensive or, like, crossword answers? Way, but... What's that? There have been offensive crossword answers? Oh, yeah, th sure. Um, I mean, I, you know... I do my best, of course, to try and avoid, you know, anything that's going to make people, you know, upset or hurt them, you know, yeah. I'm not going to sit here and say that I've, you know, it's never happened or I've never had words that I, you know, don't wish I didn't use because, you know, I've been writing puzzles for a while, but, um, yeah, um, yeah no, there, I mean, there, have, I mean, there was a whole big controversy, you know, in the New York times, uh, there was, 2019, yeah, um, you know, I'm a little, a little nervous about like you know bringing that up again, you know, because like uh -oh. crossword constructors always kind of roll their eyes about uh -oh. like what happened. But it was, yeah, kind of a an answer. But we don't that know really about it. Let us in on the drama. 
This is a big drama. We don't know anything that about was, it. It was a New Year's Day puzzle um, in 2019, which had a very, you know, not cool answer. Uh, so, uh, mm -hmm. is it something that's like TOS on Twitch? Uh, <laughs> I don't think Evan has the TOS memorized. True. Was it like a swear word? Was it a swear word or was it like a slur or like what? It was, yeah, it was it was a it was a slur and um In the puzzle? And, you know, Why? This this is a big drama. Oh my god, Sid Scrid says it was a racial slur. Oh, yeah, I'd rather not. I'd rather not say. Yeah, we're not but, gonna yeah, make you say the word, but that has we just before, wanted to know, you know the category. I, you know, so that was, you know, um, wow. It, it was a big is he, controversy. Is he like blacklisted now from, from like newspapers and stuff? No, no, no. Um, He's still allowed to do puzzles after that. You gotta, you gotta take that guy out, man. No, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's. Um, so it's sort of an unpleasant thing to talk about, yeah. so I probably should, you know, just move on, I guess. Yeah, but, uh, sorry. We were just curious yeah, but, what I mean, happened, because we don't know about the... Before, so, um, and, uh, you know... I must not forget about the penis incident. Yeah. Right, right. Not forget about that. that. Famous. <laughs> well, now I know I can't invite my, uh, my mom to listen to this uh, chat afterwards. <laughs> Why? It was a crossword answer. How do you feel about this, Evan? Evan, I think your mom do knows you what is scrambled ever. Um, not very often, but I have played it before. How do you um, feel about junk answers and Scrabble? Jason, don't bring this up right now. <laughs> don't bring this up right now in front of Evan. Well, I mean, so I mean, Scrabble is a very different exercise than a crossword because, say, like, he said you can I, Google, so he can. He would say you can use dictionary. Uh, well, it's it's that there are, you know, so the people who are like, you know, professional, like really expert Scrabble players, like have to memorize like, you know, a bunch of, you know, two letter and three letter words that, you know, probably never show up in crosswords. Exactly. You know, they use ever. strange little words. Um, yeah. But if it's in the dictionary, yeah. it, it flies, right? <laughs> Jason just, okay, the, we don't have to bring Evan into this. I this just use, I use those, fu I use topic. the funny little words, and I say if it's in the dictionary, it flies, and Jason says if he doesn't know the word, we can't use it. Well, I say if you don't know the no, definition of the you word. No, if you don't yeah. know it. If, no, if nobody knows the definition of the word, it doesn't count. Um, so, I, I'm like, not going to be the judge of how you guys play Scrabble, like whatever Evan, we need help. Do. Help us, Evan, <laughs> help us. <laughs> We need an official ruling on this. Evan would be on my side, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> what was that word you came up with? It was like a two letter word. It was a legal word. It was, it was in the like dictionary. It was like ZL or something stupid. No, it wasn't ZL. It was ZO <laughs> or something. There's crazy words. It was Do in the dictionary, know? that's all I know. This is a good question. What is the most, what is one of the most underutilized, obscure words that you've ever used? Obscure words that I've ever used. I'm trying to think. Like a crossword puzzle. Overfoot D Day? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. It was a theme answer. <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, or just a word that people I don't know. know. Because well, yeah, he tries right. to make ones people do know. So I remember a few years ago, I used the word trimer, P R I M E R, which I think it's like a molecule that has like three, three pieces to it or something. I, I don't even remember myself. Do you know that yeah, from your scientist three, past? It's a molecule made up of three identical simpler molecules, and. I, I remember using that, um, like, I know primer with a P at the beginning would be a much better word to use, more common, but I couldn't use it for some reason, like, because I think, like, the way I would have been able to fill some section was impossible, and so, like, I, I had to use trimer, and I did my best to, like, cross it fairly, and I think it was, but I, you know, I regretted having to use that, that one once, but it was like, well, you know, just get it and move on, and then let's not talk about it ever again. So, um, <laughs> 
But I mean, you know, there, there are people like scientists, you know, chemists and biologists who might know that phrase, that word much better than yeah, I would. I mean, right. I, I used to be a chemistry major, but I never recognized that word, you know, when I was in college. If you, if, if for anybody who was, you know, a science major, you might recognize a dimer, which is the same thing, except it's made up of two simpler molecules. So dimer is, you know, with two, and trimer is three. So. And then there's climber with four, right? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> or tetramer, probably more likely. But... <laughs> and then there's Tortimer. He's the mirror of the Animal Crossing. Yeah, so I, just, I remember writing that into the puzzle and, and people saying, oh, they didn't know that. And I had to sort of say, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I kind of had to. But... <laughs> we forgive you right. for it. Um, so I have another question that was kind of a bunch of people kind of asked in different ways, like generally. So maybe like how long does it take you to write a crossword puzzle? And like just like they wanted to know more about the process of making a crossword puzzle and like just how long it takes you. And like do you make them how far in advance do you make them and stuff like that? So it depends on the puzzle. Um, if it's a puzzle that has, you know, a very kind of basic theme if it was just like change a letter to another letter you know or add a letter to a phrase and make something wacky like um i don't want to say those you know go by quickly but you know it's generally easier for me to to come up with um with theme phrases you know because I, I keep a list of like a bunch of theme phrases that i could use and i you know try to see how long they are and see how they could match up with other answers in the grid um you know, if it's if it's a theme like that, you know, maybe it takes me like, I don't know, anywhere from twelve to twenty four hours to build the grid. Wow, um, twenty four hours. Well, I mean, you know, not usually. And I mean, I I do work late into nights um, often oh to God. build my puzzles, but you know, I. Uh, That's way know, longer than I was expecting. I thought you were going to say I mean, like five or six hours. Sitting, but I have to then after I write the grid, I have to then write the clues. That takes you know. X number of hours more oh, may take so like first you make the grid yeah, of words means... and then you do the clues. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, um oh. that's a question that crossword constructors get all the time. Um, you know, is do you build the grid first or do you start with the clues? And you know, pretty much like ninety nine point nine well, really a hundred percent of the time you build the grid first. <laughs> um <laughs> You couldn't, you know, build all the clues because you don't know yeah. what's going to end up in the grid. And sometimes you have to um, work with words you didn't expect or anticipate were going to end up in there because, you know, having to interlock words all over is difficult. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, I mean, like if it's a much more intricate theme and I will tell you that the theme that is coming next week is that that took me, I think, maybe three days to do the whole thing because it was there was a lot going on. So. So are you doing these like week by week or you're preparing them like far in advance? You have like a backlog. Um, I do uh, one puzzle every week. Um, I mean, oh, I, okay. you know, if I you're write like a puzzle, Jason. But yeah, if I write a puzzle, Jason I, does it, one you video know, I submit a week. to the, the Washington Post, then it appears a few weeks later. Um, so, you know, I don't really work with much of a backlog. I wish I did. It's just I try to come up with something you know, different every week. And it can be difficult to come up with a theme that's fresh and original and, and different. And I like to mix up the difficulty between week to week as well. I mean, you notice with like Chuck ecstasy cheese, like that was a pretty hard puzzle. The themeless one that I wrote last week, I guess was, was easier. So, um, you no, know. I appreciate uh, it. Yeah. I, got I, to that. I thought this week was a very good one. Thank you. Yeah, I like the elf in the square. Yeah, and you know, if that's you know your first introduction to Rebus puzzles, uh, you know, it, it can was. be, uh, it, it, it can like you know yeah. sort of take you by surprise. It, it really can. Yeah, so, uh, and that was weird how it wouldn't work for me for a while. Like I couldn't type them in the boxes. Wasn't that weird? Yeah, I I, I was confused by that too. But I'm glad <laughs> someone figured it out. Yeah, I just had to, like zoom out. So now you know. If anyone complains to you, it's not working. See if they like zoom out. <laughs> they will fix it. Or yeah, well, that's a good tip because I didn't was. know that that could be a problem. Um, 
and yep. you know what I would and what I would say is well now that you have been exposed to a rebus puzzle like mm -hmm. keep that trick in your back pocket because you know it may yep, show up again at some it's point in my pocket. So. <laughs> yes we'll have yep. to solve some more rebus puzzles <laughs> Um, so I have like maybe just one more question and then maybe we can do like the tier list. Okay. If you're up for it. Um, well, it was just like, what other jobs have you had besides Crossword Maker? You kind of did answer, but. Yeah. I mean, I, so I worked, you know, in <clears throat> epidemiology research and. Um, health research for you know a few years mm -hmm. I you know but th this was a career track that I didn't really um, I didn't really connect with very well um, I changed tracks and um, and I went back to school for a few years um, I started a PhD program in American history at Temple University um, but oh, I uh, you know I, I finished my coursework my professors were great you know I, I um, got on really well. I got along with them really well. It's just, you know, when I got to the, the stage of going to my comprehensive exams, I kind of lost my nerve. Um, uh. because for, I mean, I mean, the first reason why is because I kind of figured out about myself that I didn't really want to spend the next 40 years of my life in academia. Um, especially in the humanities, which Fair is, enough. you know, it's, it, it's a very difficult, very difficult, uh, field to, get a tenure track position as a professor um and even if you do get one you may not like it and there's just there's just like too many ifs for me to have yeah. to do that so but you know when i was doing that i was also building crosswords my first um i mean my first uh crosswords that got published in a newspaper uh, i think the first one was actually in the wall street journal back in 2013 oh. and in the same year i got my, i got my first new york times crossword published in the same year in october and it was funny because I was a second year student at Temple at the time, and I had a professor who was who taught one of my first year seminars who, you know, because there was a, a story that ran in like the Temple, like email, their like online newsletter. And it was about me and that, you know, I made this puzzle and it appeared in the New York Times. You and this professor, the paper? this professor saw the, um, the story and she came up to me, um, when I was like in between classes once and she said, you know, that's good for you. That's, that's really interesting. And then she gave me this glare and said, but this is only a hobby, right? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. And, you know, because, the shade. She wasn't respecting the crossword craft. Well, <laughs> no, I, I mean, I think, you know, she was, she was impressed oh that I had a gosh. puzzle that was published in the New York times. Yeah. It's just that because I was in a doctoral program, like, you know, that's yeah, right. what you need to be spending your time doing. You need to be she reading. She was like you wondering if your interests were conflicting. Yep. Right. And like, you know, I said, just like, oh yeah, sure. It's, it's a hobby, but you know, I kind of like, <laughs> yeah, before, sure, I, got, sure it before is. I got to the exams, I just, you know, what I found myself doing was I was building crosswords every day. Like I just found myself. Oh my up. gosh. I just found you myself. You were not doing your schoolwork. Right. You were doing crosswords. <laughs> I did my schoolwork. He's got um, the itch. He got the itch. <laughs> and I did my schoolwork, but like, you know, when I was finished with my classes in 2014, I, you know, I've just found myself wanting to write crosswords every day. Like it's just what I woke up to do. And so I yeah. just, that's when I figured you out about myself, that, you know, this, this is, you know, this is what I need to make my career doing. Um, and you know, I, I that means um, you're an artist. <laughs> you're a crossword I, I, artist. I, I do like to think of writing crosswords as a form of art. Yeah. It is. So, um, I can tell. Um, yeah. And, you know, it was, it, it was another year and a half or so, you know, after I, you know, finished my coursework that I was kind of, you know, uh, figuring out what it is I was going to do. And, you know, the post came along. Um, I, I mean, I mean, I had my own crossword website and I, um, and I wrote a puzzle for that like once a week. I co-founded a crossword tournament with uh, four other friends uh, who write crosswords oh, of their own. Um, the tournaments. We'll have to get into the tournaments yeah. sometime. I think we uh, have a that pretty crossword good tournament, that, that crossword tournament is called the Indy 500, um, spelled I-N-D-I-E 500. Um, oh. It's based in Washington, D.C. Um, I mean, we haven't been able to do it this year because of... Uh, oh, it's like know, an in-person tournament? 
Yeah, I mean, well, you know, all in-person tournaments did not happen this year, but you know, right. it's um. That sounds fun. Um, so, like, what's the prize? That, well, um, the prize, you know, for Get the crown, like the biggest crosser tournament is the American Crosser Puzzle Tournament. There's there's like a, a cash prize, I think, for Ooh. I don't remember what the exact amount is, but um, other times like tournaments don't have like as big of a cash prize. It's you know usually like. I don't know, some gift bag or you know books or something it's more like the joy of solving and being with all uh your friends like solving crosswords and i'll tell you crossword tournaments are a, a they are a blast i i just absolutely love them um you know because you fun. get to just hang yeah you get to just hang out with a lot of people you know you solve puzzles together you know the idea is whoever solves it the fastest and accurately you know ends up winning um right you know, I, I could never be as fast as the uh, the people who solve, you know, uh, up on the, the championship boards at the end. But, um, you know, I, that's totally fine with me. I'm, I'm happy to support, you know, my fellow solvers. Just and be there. You know, we're all that's that's the thing is that we're all very chill and supportive of each other. That's that's what I love about it. It's, it's not like a, a cutthroat atmosphere in the least bit. Yeah, no, it's a great community. So if we had, like, say, like, see what's on the screen with, like, that crown on your head, like, if we had something like that made, would you consider wearing that, perhaps? <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, you know what they say, that power corrupts and uh, <laughs> absolute power corrupts. <laughs> the corrupt king! I just... <laughs> Somebody asked a good question in the chat. They did. I was going to wait till the end and let the chat like put questions and see if Evan wanted to answer any of them. But what was it, babe? Does Evan ever solve other crosswords and then say, pathetic? Oh! Matthew knows that. <laughs> He's very kind. I mean, just to himself. Oh, yeah, just to yourself, Evan. Pathetic. Just to yourself, do you ever say pathetic? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, if I, if you're asking, have I solved puzzles that I haven't liked before? Yes, I have. Uh -huh. um, you know, but that, oh, okay, I mean, <clears throat> um, you know, but I, I don't know. For me, like, I, I generally don't, you know, I don't let it bother me too much, you know, for the most part, unless, you know, there's like an answer kind of like we talked about earlier, that's, you know, kind of like really offensive in some way, but, yeah. you know, I, or like you know, the, the national leaguer. <laughs> junk answer. I mean, that, that sort of, junk that sort answer. Of that's what I say. Yeah. Junk I mean, answer. I don't like that, you know, but like it's a crossword, you know, it's not life and death. Um, like yeah. I just, so I have a question. But it's your craft. It's your art. Yeah. <laughs> um, when you're at one of these tournaments, before you said that Googling is like a valid thing, do you get like... <laughs> Fluffy's trying to go to the tournament and Google it. No, Fluffy. Well, I'm just asking, is it valid? No, Fluffy, you can't or enter in Google. Like a couple of 3Ds or something? Like it's no, not Fluffy. Thing. No, and see, that's that's actually a very good question because you're right. That no, does kind not. of contradict what I said, right? Good question, you? <laughs> At crossword tournaments, well, for the most part, you're right. That is not allowed. You are not allowed to look up Google at most crossword tournaments because, yeah, I mean, that's they have rules against that. And and honestly, for the people who solve, you know, the fastest at puzzles, um, you know, it's and people who don't need hints, like if you, if well, yeah, right. You know, if you if you spend the time to look up something, you know, on Google while you're solving a puzzle, you can solve it faster if you just do it without it. Like, you know. Um, so, you know, so I, and the thing is, like at most crossword tournaments, like you know, I have never heard of a single instance of anybody actually cheating at one of them. Like it just, it just doesn't happen. Not that you know of. They're just now, very good at hiding it. <laughs> well, no, I mean, pe crossword folks are honest to a fault, and I will, you know, I will vouch for that. Now, having said what I just said, there is a crossword tournament called Lollapazoola, which is based in New York City. Azula. And they do, yeah, I know it's a pun based on Lolla, uh, Lollapalooza, which, you know, I have to, <laughs> I have to, you know, stop myself when I say Lollapalooza or Lollapazoola because sometimes I mix them up. But um, uh, that tournament, actually does allow you like i think maybe eight 
opportunities they give you what are called google tickets and oh my god you know, like, I, knew google tickets. I knew it i knew it After, like, a certain period of time like when they start the clock i think maybe like you know 15 20 minutes into like a puzzle or whatever if you hmm. still haven't finished then they say you can now use google tickets and what they what those do is um you can write down like the number of a clue and you can hand it to like one of the judges on the floor and give it to them and they will give you that answer as long as it's not a theme answer um uh. if, it's, if it's like a short fill answer and you're stuck they will let you do that the penalty for using like a a google ticket is you can't get like a, a perfect score bonus i think like at the end of the puzzle and like however many points you have at the end is like you know uh. it sort of determines like you know your ranking at the end of you know if who's doing it the fastest and yeah so i mean that that's the one tournament i know that has that kind of like google exception um but you can only use it like eight times um so you have to be like you know uh, strategic like if you're yeah, if you're not as fast as a solver you have to like answer. right um <clears throat> you know but but yeah i mean for the most part like at other tournaments yeah you, you you're not allowed to look up stuff on your phone and as i said if you're a fast enough solver you shouldn't do that anyway because you know it'll just slow you down so yeah. i would do that i would google um evan before i forget sid told us about this that you're the crossword cereal guy <laughs> and we saw a series of tweets where you were eating oreo o's and taking a selfie i actually don't like that cereal. what's that I'm, all I'm... about <laughs> you put oreo o's in one puzzle and they make you the crossword cereal guy apparently <laughs> oh you put oreo o's in your puzzle but you were taking yeah. selfies eating them i saw it <laughs> yeah um i mean like um I mean, Oreo is like such a common crossword cookie that shows up all the time. Um, and so like, I, I remember once hearing that like Oreo O's had gone out of stock, but then I guess they made a comeback or they started selling them again in the last few years. Um, and I found uh, a box of them at my local supermarket and I bought some and I thought like, it would be just funny if I just like do a little tweet thread about it and I just, I ate it in over four days <laughs> and uh, <laughs> You know, it was just, um, I don't know, it was, just, it was just kind of funny. And I've, um, I've put like a couple other cereals in my puzzle. Funny. I put s'mores, uh, S M O R Z, uh, which, you know, based what? on, you know, oh man, that's actually a cereal. Yeah, I put that in what? one of my puzzles. That's the answer cereal, to s'mores. Jason's question, then. I feel like that's the most obscure answer you've ever put s'mores cereal. <laughs> There is a s'mores cereal, yeah. Kellogg's. That's very obscure, Evan. Yeah, it was fairly crossed, so you can't, you can't, uh, you know, can't complain. Oh, okay, I won't complain. I won't. Wow, this cereal is hella good. It was fair. Have you eaten it before? Uh, I think a long time ago I did. I haven't eaten it recently. Um, Damn, it um, looks good. I think I had like white uh, corn checks, I think, in a previous puzzle of mine once. I, got, I, got, I um, like corn checks. Nice, man. So I don't know, like, you know, ever since I guess I did that, that Oreo O's thread, like people have just kind of thought of me as like the guy who does crosswords and also eats cereal. <laughs> so, um, wow. Um, Good like so I, just, I hate like every cereal. Time, and every time somebody, you know, uh, in the puzzle universe, like says something funny about cereals or they, they have, they see a tweet about cereals that they think is amusing. I, I always get, if somebody always uh, tags me in a tweet saying, like, you know, <laughs> you got to look at hey, this. Hey, Evan, look, out. cereal. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. And they know That's I like funny. it, too, so. <laughs> Can you believe that shit? That's so funny. It's kind of like Jason. There's, like, 20 things like that with Jason. Like, if anyone sees, like, Knack or Super Mario Brothers 2 or, like, I don't know. There's, like, a bunch of them. Then they'll just, like, be like, look, Knack. So Jason has this kind of things too, but you have it with cereal. Yeah, <laughs> it's just become become a thing. I don't know why, but <laughs> it just happens. It's amusing. That's cool. Oh, and Evan, we had a, a suggestion for you for a video game that you might like. What's that? Thank you, Swimmings, for the bits. Um, so it's called The Witness. Have you heard of it? I don't think so. No. Oh, well, you should write it down or look it up because, yeah, we think you'd like it. It's a puzzle game. Video game. 
Okay. A very cool one. A very tricky one. And your puzzles remind us of the witness sometimes. Cool. Um, what system is it for? Um, PC, like our computer. It's on Steam. I think it's on other stuff. It's on other stuff too? Okay. It's probably on other stuff. I have a serial recommendation for your next puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's in the Discord if you want to take a peek at it, I think it's pretty clever. It's in Discord. What did you play? Booty uh, breakfast uh, cereal. What? Bootios. Bootios. He's this? not gonna put bootios in his puzzles like me. I don't think that's in the database of it. Wow. Bootios. Is that a that is, it is. Wow. WWE cereal. I have uh, never heard of that cereal before, but uh, oh, have you ever heard of ET cereal? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> um, All right. No, Evan. You can put that in Evan there too. Not, if you want. He's not a Googler. I mean, not, like for for somebody who claims, well, no, I don't claim to be the Crossword cereal guy. But, you know, Sid Shiva Kumar says that I am, and other Crossword constructors say that I am. But you know, I I don't have like an encyclopedic knowledge of like all the cereals out there. Um, not yet. <laughs> no, not yet. You're working on it. That'll be the next meta. Thank like you, Camo, for the bits. Oh wait, let's see if the chat has any questions. I think they've been typing some. But... If anyone has questions that were answered, then you can put them now and we'll look. I better be good. Evan. Yeah, I better be good. What? We're not well, immature. I, 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 have a, I have a question for you, if you don't mind answering. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I'm um, just wondering how long uh, <clears throat> you guys have been solving crosswords. Probably about two months. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I solved crosswords like my grandma had like tons of crosswords and um i didn't really solve them but uh she always had like books of crosswords i guess and they were like piled up by her chair always she had like tons of them and then yeah. i would sometimes do them in the newspaper but um also just at work more recently like four or five years ago i had like a book of crosswords that i would like do at work when i worked at this bakery so yeah I've done crosswords for fun over the years. Yeah, no, that's really cool. Um, and doing them with friends and family, that's how a lot of us got started, so. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Flippy and Jason? This is the first ones I ever did. Or that's I what I thought. Yeah. I could safely say before we've been doing your crosswords, Evan, I've never completed a crossword in my life. Maybe I got a word here and there. <laughs> Yeah, I would just get like two or three words in and then I would rage quit. Yeah, just too much. Too much. I can't sit down and, and do that because it's like my brain's not big enough, you know? Uh, okay, actually that, that brings me to a very important point that I want to really stress to you is that, and I know you've said on the stream before that like, oh, you have to be like a genius or whatever to solve a crossword, you know, from beginning to end. And the truth is, no, that's not true. Um you know, solving crosswords, you know, is it's a little bit like learning a language because you have to kind of learn what the clues are telling you. You know, it's um, uh, you have to kind of figure out like what, you know, conventions the clues might use, you know, even just something simple from like, well, if the clue is written in past tense, then the answer has got to be in past tense. Or if it's plural, right. then it probably yeah. ends in an S or something like that. And that's, yeah, you, know, you have two, to learn like, the tricks. Yeah, those are two little tips that you kind of learn early on, you know, and then you get, you know, the more you do them, the more you practice, the more accustomed you get to the kind of tricks that show up again and again. And like, yeah, something like three letters in a single square, like probably takes you by surprise if you've never seen that before. When you have, you know, you kind of then know to look out for it, you know, some when it might come up. Um, and like, yeah. you know, there was a time many, many years ago that I couldn't solve crosswords either, you know, and it just what? became a, I didn't fall out of the womb being what? able to solve crosswords. Really. Evan said when he was a baby, he couldn't solve crossword puzzles. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. I can't believe he this. Of, he fell out of the womb holding that pencil in yeah, that Yeah, he pose. did. This is false info. He came out pencil first. Um, that's absolutely true. I could not solve crosswords a long time ago. And like like I said, the first time I tried to build a crossword of my Someone own. Someone said he's lying to make us feel better. <laughs> Good. Back in 2009, the first crossword I tried to build, I could not solve every day of the New York Times. I think I could maybe solve up to a Wednesday, maybe a Thursday, but I couldn't do Friday, I couldn't do Saturday, because oh, I thought right. it was too long. In difficulty? Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah, Monday, they, for the New York Times anyway, you know, Monday's the easiest, Saturday's the toughest. Um, wow. Wow. Um, the but Saturday like, Stumper, it's called. No, that's, well, that's a different publication. That's what? the Newsday. That's 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 Newsday is the Saturday Stumper. So you're not Newsday. allowed to call Saturday any other shots. one the Stumper. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could, but you just said the no, New I'm York not. Times Saturday was the hardest puzzle. It's it's the hardest New York Times crossword. So um, it's a Stumper. <laughs> Start calling yours the Sunday Stumper. Yeah, <laughs> take the name Sunday Stumper. <laughs> I would, but I think Newsday would probably get mad at me for that. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> no, I mean, uh, no, I the, just the like Newsday, the word Stumper. It's funny. The, yeah, no, the Newsday puzzle uh, on Saturday is called the Saturday Stumper. That's just what they call it. <gasps> you and... should put that as a clue in your puzzle, and now we'll get it. <laughs> Shout out to Newsday. What's the hardest puzzle on Saturday? <laughs> um, yeah, but like, and and that the, the Newsday puzzle is one that I didn't even start solving. I think consistently until maybe four years ago, just because, like, you know, kind of like you said, I felt it was too hard for me. I was just like, I can't finish this because they are just brutally hard crosswords. But, um, you know, uh, I started doing them and like, kind of like, you know, you, what I would say is that if you're starting to solve a puzzle you know, try to do as much of it as you can. Like, even if you can't finish it, I would also say like, try to solve puzzles that are harder than you think you can complete. Because like, if all you did was solve, like if you had a book of Monday, New York times crosswords, and those are you know meant to be easier, mm -hmm. you know, that's totally fine. Like I, I, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, if you want to get, you know, if you want to get faster at it, and all you do is Monday New York Times crosswords, you're probably not going to improve like that much. Right. Like, you know, it's kind of like lifting weights in the gym. You got to, you know, take on some some heavier weights after a while. Um, yeah. You know. Do you think that my and, stream is a good way to learn to do crossword puzzles? Absolutely. Absolutely, I do. I'm going to you know, go ahead and try to do a crossword today all on my own. No, you're yeah. not. I'm going to. After the stream, I'm going to look up some of Evan's right. older puzzles. I'm going to try okay. it. Okay. Good for you. Yeah, and, like, you know, do as much of it as you can. Like, give it your best shot. You know, if you have to reveal an answer, that's really, that's okay. That's not, I'm not, that there's no problem with it's that. It's okay and with like... him, Fluffy, but I'm going to shake him my head. <laughs> I'll, I'll go with tournament rules, and I'll limit myself to eight Google tickets. Sure. I mean, it, you know, that's Google fine. Tickets. And, like, do what fine. you can, and it's... And if you don't finish it, and if you don't finish it, like, that's fine. You know, the next puzzle, try to do even more of it. And then, you know, you know, sequentially move up, like, with however much you can complete with it. And that's kind of how you get practice with it. That's how I did it many years ago. Um, when he so, was about uh, two or three. That's how I played those shooting games. Honestly, crossword solving was a skill that I picked up after college. I'm not kidding. I no, Evan! You know, you and, have to say you're a prodigy. <laughs> this is our I lore think, for you. you know, this is our lore that you came out of the womb doing crosswords. <laughs> well, this is Evan's train of thought, but some people I think is, you know, DNA. Yeah, yeah, DNA. You just need that DNA. Mm -hmm. and the big Puzzle brain, you know, puzzle brain. I mean, well, you know, sometimes the skill of, you know, being able to solve a crossword quickly comes faster to others than, you know, yeah. than, you know, but it's... It's I'm a better skill at like picking up cheese. <laughs> it's, a, it's a skill that anybody what can learn. Thing? Kind of like playing a video game. Anybody can learn to play, you know, whichever Jason game. Jason said he's good at picking up cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Explain what yourself. What does that even mean? What does that mean, babe? I pick up different kinds of cheese. Parmesan. Mm. Check. Oh, I get it. Pick I... this up. Put this in my mouth. Okay, you're good at eating cheese. <laughs> 
<laughs> good answer, Steve. <laughs> oh my god! That was a good answer, Steve! <laughs> 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 oh my god. Um okay, wait, did so did the chat have any good questions? Chat, did you have any good questions or did you not? It's okay if you didn't. I see one from I saw Nancy. some earlier but I lost them. Oh there's one. <laughs> What's with the drugs? We answered that question. Uh we answered that one, tomato. I said, how many years did it take you before you got a uh, job at Washington Post? So um, <clears throat> I had I had my first um, professional puzzles that were published in 2013, I think. Um, and I started my website, Devil Cross, at the beginning of 2014. Oh, right. Why um, was it called Devil Cross? Why is it evil? <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't have a great answer for that other than I thought it sounded cool. <laughs> um, uh, he wanted to be kind of like the bad boy of crosswords. A little, I guess. Um, I mean, it's pretty good. I, like it. I mean, like, you know, and that was, you know, kind of like, that was sort of like a growing phase for me because, like, I, I had, you know, some puzzles published, but... You know, I wanted to, to use a little more freedom in the kinds of words that I could use. And yeah, I probably used some uh, some salty language in some of the answers and some of the uh, salty language. Some of the clues, some of the puzzles. I did that, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but I was uh, I I was writing that puzzle for I don't know maybe um, eighteen months, twenty months, or something like that. It was a little more than a year and a half, I think. And. Wow. Um, you know, um, in August of 2015, that's when uh, my predecessor at the Post, Merle Regal, that's when he passed away. Oh. Um, and uh, yeah, and, um, peace, and there's there's a whole, there's a whole story as to like how the Posts, you know, uh, asked me, you know, to to be the next one. But um, I mean, it was uh, well, yeah. I mean, so he passed away in August uh, of 2015, and then. A week. I mean, so at the time, I wasn't even thinking about like, well, you know, is anybody going to replace him? You know, it's just I didn't even think there there was going to be a replacement for his puzzles because I thought they would just kind of like end the crossword feature and that would be it, or they would like rerun his old puzzles. Um, you know, but a week after a week after he passed away, I was in I was back home in um, uh, near Chicago uh, visiting my family and uh, and I was. Uh, a groomsman for my friend Bobby at his wedding. And at the wedding, like right before my brothers and I were going to make our entrance into the, the big entrance hall, you know, when they introduced the, the brides, the bridesmaids and the, uh, the groomsmen and all that, and the bride and the groom, I got this, uh, my, my phone buzzed. And I saw that I got an email from an editor at the Washington post saying, you know, we've gotten some recommendations from other people in the crossword universe that you'd be interested Ooh, in applying to the, um, universe. Yeah, you'd be Stars interested aligned. in applying for the job. Yeah, yeah. And uh, when I saw that email, I, I must have jumped like ten feet in the air because I was like, "Oh my god, this is this is huge!" Like, there are not many crossword writer jobs that come up really ever. So right. yeah. the fact that this one, you know, came up, you know, on my phone, I I, I went around at that night at that at my friend's wedding. Like, I went to my my parents. I went to my brothers. Um, you know, just. Um, showing them this email and like i have to write a reply <laughs> look at my email look at my email i want to make sure i want to make sure my response as editor looks good is, is professional and everything <laughs> and you know um my uh my wife helped me put together a uh, a portfolio of puzzles that i would submit to the post she made this really great design page because she's she's great with like design software and um and that kind of thing so um you know, I, I submitted uh, six puzzles that I thought showed like a variety of my sort of range. Like I, th I didn't submit like maybe like my six favorite puzzles of all time or six hardest puzzles. I wanted to show like here's an easy puzzle, here's a hard puzzle, here's a Sunday size puzzle. You know, here's here's a meta. You know, I wanted to show like a lot of different puzzle types because I thought Chuck ecstasy cheese. <laughs> here's Chuck ecstasy cheese. <laughs> Just, I came up with this over fun D Day. <laughs> 
so like um yeah i mean i and i i did that and one of the puzzles that i'd submitted was a tribute puzzle to merle regal um that i wrote on my website and it had a contest meta element where you know people who got the right answer they would just email me it and you know that um we you know my wife and i went on shortly after that we went on a camping trip to upstate new york and um you know i still had my internet on me and like one of the emails i got while we were in the woods was from another crossword editor named peter gordon who's um he edits the uh, fireball crosswords um independent puzzle collection and um he emailed me the answer to my merle regal tribute meta and he said uh-huh. oh yeah that was a nice he said that was a you know really nice puzzle hey uh, by the way you have a typo and a couple clues here you know he, he pointed this out and my heart just sank because oh, that was no. a puzzle that went in my portfolio i was like oh my god i'm just you know Evan. you know what happens like when you submit you know oh, your resume to your job and has a typo in it like yeah uh-uh. And they were, and these were like super Stress. hard to, to spot typos. Like they weren't even like misspelled words. They were like, they were words that were spelled correctly, but they weren't the right ones. I think like I had the word two, like T-O-O, like with two O's, but I, I, would, I spelled it with one O by accident. And like, just, oh my God. Embarrassing, like, embarrassing, embarrassing. Yeah, it was, it was terrifying when I'm that so happened. Sorry and, that like, happened. Yeah, and you know, I, I, spoke a lot with my wife i called my brothers uh, i called my dad like you know what what do i do about this and they you know all of them just you know they reassured me they say look just you know make the corrections you know just um you know make the corrections to the you know those two clues and email the washington post like be proactive about it don't like pretend they didn't happen like you know just don't just like sit there and hope they didn't you know notice so like just just you know, make the corrections. Yeah, you know, well, there's a crossword and... editor for a reason, right? Yeah, and you know, you know, I didn't have test solvers at the time. It was just me. So like, you know, of course, I'm, you know, I'm human. I'm gonna miss some some things sometimes. But um, you know, I uh, I sent that off, and you know, I I just told this editor, listen, you know, I I'm sorry about this. It was just you know a couple typos, but I've reattached you know the puzzles, and here you go. And I just kind of didn't <laughs> even think about it. Someone in the chat had and, a very you know, good idea. You could have made them part of a meta puzzle. <laughs> Say all my yeah, misspelled the, the... words were part of a bigger puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah because like, i had six puzzles if i had six errors like all the missing letters spell errors or something I don't know. oh that's <laughs> um, so good <laughs> yeah, yeah but you know i i decided shortly after that that happened that what i was going to do was because you know because the puzzles that you solve on the washington post website are 21 by 21 squares for the most part yeah um you know, I had only written, I think, maybe four of those of that puzzle that size in my life before, oh. you know, before I, you know, was in this process at all. Um, so what I decided was, you know what, I'm going to write a Sunday size crossword on my website, Devil Cross, every single week until they make up their mind. And, you know, I, um, and I, and I, your plan I emailed paid this editor off. just saying, listen, here's the. I just said, like, you know, here's this, you know, puzzle I'm doing. Like, and, you know, I was worried about being that guy that was, like, and always, like, <laughs> email the potential employers. Like, you know, so what do you think, huh? You know, <laughs> like, you know, but be that really annoying guy. But, like, I, I decided if I was going to do this job, if I was going to be up to it, I had to show myself that I could write that size of puzzle consistently every week, that I could do a good job. I had to show myself that I could do it. I had to show the post that I could do it. And if it meant having to, you know, email them, be aggressive, you know, in trying to get what is essentially my dream job, I was going to do it. So that's what I did. Um, yeah. yeah. Good work, and, uh, Evan. Good work, Evan. Yeah. Anyway. Good work. We're all happy yeah, it worked worked. out. <laughs> Thank you. Me um, too. <laughs> so I'm going to put on the screen now, if you look at my stream, this uh, is a tier yeah. list. Uh, tier list. This is what we call a tier list. Okay. And I put puzzles in here. I may have missed some because I just made this. And also you can't see this one, but this is a Ken Ken puzzle. I just made it big so you could see it. So we're going to um, rank these puzzles. 
So I'm not sure I should be asked yeah. to do this because I know I know people who write variety puzzles who you know I don't want to like rank the oh that's oh, a lesser okay. puzzle or something. <laughs> well, let's just put the crossword in the S tier, right? We can all say it's S tier. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everyone can agree that's, it's S tier. That's more for like refined tastes. <laughs> Wait, Jason's not putting crossword in S tier. <laughs> Interesting. Well, this is the Picross. Personally, I'm putting Picross in S tier. Does anyone have an objection? Ah, uh, uh, Picross. That's an F tier for me. F tier, Floppy. <laughs> Floppy's uh, never done that Picross. Look at that duck on there. Yeah, look at that duck. You can draw a little picture of a little ducky. Look, I'll make it bigger so you can see. Look, Flippy. S tier. That's not a duck anymore. Let's see. <laughs> now, this is a cryptogram. I don't know if anyone has done it. Cryptogram? What's it called? Evan, what is it called in the in the paper? In the newspaper, these crypto yeah. puzzles? A cryptogram. Is that what the yeah. zodiac cryptogram. sends you? Yeah. So you just have to like, and there's like a key at the bottom and you have to like solve the key to solve yeah, the I'm phrase. Sure I'm thinking kind of like B tier. That's what I was going to say as well. I'd say oh, B. Oh, okay. Maybe. And but then, all, all, all I'm going to say is, you know, it's not that I don't have like personal preferences as to like what puzzles yeah. I like to solve. I am not going to, you know, say like, you know, one of these is lesser than the other because I just yeah, I that's not that, what it is. You know? It's not. Yeah. It, it's just for fun. Well, not lesser. It's just we're like, just having just, fun. Making... You just look at the color that speaks to you, really. Say, oh, green. Fluffy, you were literally saying earlier you were a big Sudoku I fan. S. Oh, I think said F. Okay, S tier. No, no, I'm saying no. A tier personally. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to fight Leah now. Well, oh, listen, you know, there's, there's like, Ken Ken. That's like Sudoku, but like more complicated. Yeah. Ken Ken, yeah. I never saw um, that. Yeah, one. Sudoku's, Sudoku's logic, Ken Ken is math plus logic, so. Oh, Ken Ken is math plus logic. Interesting. See, my dad used to do Sudoku and he switched to Ken Ken. That's why I'm thinking. Sudoku might be a little lesser tier than Ken Ken. <laughs> I'm just more complicated. It doesn't necessarily mean better. But I don't like it that much, so I'm putting it in tier. I'm not saying one of these is lesser. No, Evan right? is so. not. This is not endorsed by Evan. We're just putting him through this tier list experience. <laughs> I'm sorry, Evan. We 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 don't say Evan endorses this. No, we're just jump. We're just taking a look at different crossword, different puzzles that are like similar to crossword. For a fun tier list. People like to do these on Twitch and stuff, Evan. That's why we're doing it. People like to right. make tier lists of different things. You can make like a serial tier list, for example. Mm. It's like a popular thing to do. <laughs> make a tier list. So, yeah. Jumble. I love Jumble. And it has a little comic with it. Look it. This is the moment you've been fighting for. Are you ready? I'm ready. And in this corner, the challenger. The boxer was finally given a shot at the championship, and it was blank. Oh, this is a whole storyline. Yeah. <laughs> These are like a comic with a puzzle. Yeah, it's a meta. It's a meta thing. Yeah, it's meta, like tw double meta. This is S tier. Jumble S tier. I love these. I love these. Love Jumble. Oh, there should be like a crossword that gives you like a joke. Bump them like with the comic, <laughs> all of them are S tier. Honestly, they are kind of all S tier except this, guys. We know where this is going. What is this? What is this? We know where this is going. Word search. Word, Word search. search. Oh, I like Word these. Search. Are you kidding? Word search. E. I like these. E tier. Wait, I Jason likes you. it. Okay, C. If Jason so likes I it, I'll move it up. I, I will tell you that, you know, kind of like what I was saying before about like that um, Miracle Sudoku, you know, being sort of like a god tier kind right. of Sudoku, I think. Yeah. Um, I've seen some impressive, like really neat variations on word search. Um, you have? Can you show me? Um, I'm not sure if there's a picture available for it. I'd have to find it on my old website. But that crossword constructor that I mentioned before, um, Patrick, Patrick Berry, Berry. Did a, he did a really neat one uh, for this puzzle collection that he did um, called Vicious Circle. 
it's like a collection of variety puzzles and one of them was a word search where like um there were i mean so there were letters like in the, the grid like you would normally see but there were also just like spheres that took the place of some letters and what you had to do oh. was like in those spheres like was the single word ball i think and and in oh. another direction it was a single letter and then like you had to figure out like which ones which single letter applied and like when, when you like crossed out the right ones it spelled like a relevant word it, it was it was neat like i hadn't seen that before i've mm -hmm. never seen anything like that i thought a word search was just literally words in a bunch of letters well, yeah, I mean, it, and that is like what it is most of the time. But like, you know, puzzle makers are always trying to come up with different ways of like doing variations on, you know, tried right. puzzle forms. So I'll have to look up Patrick Berry word search balls. <laughs> right, well, yeah, I mean, the, the variety puzzle collection is called Vicious Circle. It's on oh, his website. Vicious Circle. Oh, wow. OK, well, we're finding that lots of great puzzles for the future. His All right, we'll eight, eight, move eight, it up to B tier. You've convinced me. B for balls. Well, I think that's about all we had, Evan. Yeah. So thank you so much for being a good sport and participating and coming in a interview call and for just coming in our stream on Sundays and being so yeah. encouraging and nice and supportive. <laughs> Proud of puzzle. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's a, it's a lot of fun watching you guys uh, take down my puzzle a little bit at a time. I, I really oh, enjoy I'm it. So glad. Um, if you if if uh, you guys would allow me, if I might plug something. Yeah, um, yeah. Go ahead. Go on. Plug. Plug away. <laughs> so over the summer, I um, uh, edited a big puzzle collection called Grids for Good. Um, oh, right. And it's it's a collection of. Uh, 42 uh, crosswords and variety puzzles um, that was made by 44 different constructors. Um, and uh, uh, Sid Shivakumar, who's here, who's telling you about how I'm the crossword serial guy, he contributed uh -huh. a couple puzzles for that. Um, Patrick Berry also co uh, contributed a puzzle as well. Oh my god, um, your idol? Yeah. Um, you got to work with your idol? I did, yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, he um, he, he cool. contributed a very neat variety puzzle to that that collection. But it's oh. so this is if you go to um, gridsforgood.com. Okay, I can put it in the chat. Oh, there we go. There it is. Gridsforgood.org. Oh, it's gridsforgood.org. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm Scratch the, the com. Put the org. Yeah, no, no com. It's gridsforgood.org. Victor, um, put it in. And. Um, it's uh, it, what you do is uh, you would um, we suggest that people donate um, ten dollars to either a um, a uh, COVID nineteen charity or a social justice organization of your choice, um, and we've listed some suggestions for that. Um, and, so it's charity puzzles, and... puzzles for charity, basically, right? Yeah, I mean, it's we we did it to raise money for you know a lot of different charities, and um you know we raised uh, over sixty five thousand dollars since we launched it. In oh July. my gosh, that's uh, awesome! Yeah, yeah. and uh, how yeah, long will it be proud. going until? I mean, I think we'll just have it. You know, there's no reason to take it down. Like whenever people want it, and all you have to do is just like send an email to. So um, it's kind of like Chris. a pay what you want for like a bunch of epic puzzles. Yeah, it charity. is, and like you know, we 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 we, we suggest that if people have the means, like you know, like you know, definitely donate what you can. If you know you've fallen on hard financial times, like during the pandemic, like you know, just send us an email. We'll still you know accommodate you. Like don't don't worry. We don't want people to be excluded if they're you know not able to make a donation at this time. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, but definitely check it out. And then uh, you would send an email, I think, to um, gridsforgood at gmail .com. And just send us, you know, the receipt so we know um, where it went, you know, and uh, so we can just like record it for our files. It's just, you know, for our own record keeping. But, you know, just let us know and then, you know, we'll send you the, the collection of puzzles. And, gotcha. you know, I, I think they're very well, good collection. Well, I will be, sure. I will definitely be doing that then. Great. I want the puzzles. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of awesome. them, so we'll keep you busy. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much again, Evan. And uh, yeah, thanks, we appreciate guys. the puzzles that you make. Great job on the puzzles. Keep up the good work. 
Thank you. We're all huge Evan fans here. Thanks a lot. I, I very much appreciate getting to talk to you. Yes, likewise. Yeah, thanks for coming in. All right. Everyone's saying we love you, Evan. Thank you, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they're saying you're very professional. Nice yeah, you're very professional. We we tried to cause a little drama, but you wouldn't have it, and uh, you handled it very well. <laughs> tried, we tried, but you just. You just <laughs> All right. See you guys later. Good. Goodbye and thank you again, everyone. I'm back. Goodbye, Evan. Goodbye. We're All going right, to care, we're going to leave the call now. So, All right, take care. Farewell. Yeah. Thanks again. Okay, you guys. I left the Evan call. Isn't he the greatest? Isn't Evan the greatest of all time? Where's my Evan picture? Where did my Evan go? There we go. There he is, the Crossword King. Amazing, amazing interview. I hope that we got to all the questions you guys wanted. I think it was pretty comprehensive. So thank you again to Evan and yes, his gridsforgood.org crossword puzzles and other puzzles for charity. What a great guy, what a great guy, what a great uh, constructor. <laughs> so thanks everyone for watching. That's all for this week. Tune in next week for another Crossword Sunday, and Evan will maybe be there in the chat like he does. He comes in the chat and says nice things. Bye, everybody. Goodbye.